Rose, Merry Christmas! What do you want for Happy Honda Day? Jeffy, what are you doing? Well, I'm dressed up like Santa Claus, and I'm trying to figure out what you want for Christmas. I don't want anything for Christmas. Christmas is lame. Marvin, don't be such a Grinch. Christmas time is forgiving. Yeah, dang, tell me what you want. I'm dressed up like Santa Claus. Jeffy, Santa Claus isn't even real. <gasps> what? Wait, what? <laughs> Santa Claus is it real? He's not. You're 17 years old, Jeffy. You have to find out eventually. Marvin, don't tell him that. Baby, he's 17 years old. Marvin, fix it. <laughs> Fine, Jeffy. Santa Claus is real. Then prove it. Prove it? I haven't had to prove it before. Marvin, just take him to the mall so he can sit on Santa's lap. Baby, it's 10 o'clock at night. The mall's not open. Well, then hire someone to dress up like Santa. Well, if you don't prove that Santa Claus is real, I'm going to poke my eye. Well, don't poke yourself. Ow. Stop it. Ow. Stop. Ow. Jeff, Ow. I'm about to call Santa. Ow. I'm about to call Santa Claus. You have Santa Claus's number? Yeah, I have his number. I'm going to call him right now. <gasps> Can I talk to him? But no, he's not allowed to talk to kids. Why? Did he get into legal trouble? He, yeah, he did. Listen, I'm going to go call Santa Claus. I'm going to invite him over here to talk to you. Okay. Come on, hurry up, answer the phone. Hey Marvin, what do you need? Hey, can you dress up like Santa Claus and come over? My kid wants to meet Santa. <laughs> Me? Dress up like Santa? No, 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 see, that wouldn't work, because I'm in too good a shape. See, Santa's supposed to be fat, and I'm not. I'm thin. I look amazing. Nobody would believe that I'm Santa Claus. I'm too hot. Okay, well, do you know anybody that can dress up like Santa? Oh, uh, well, I do have this one friend who's been looking for work and could really use it. Does he look like Santa? Oh, he looks exactly like Santa. Uh, it'll be perfect. When you see this guy, you're going to say, that's Santa Claus. It's like his twin. Okay, then bring him over right now. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, thank you. All right, baby, I got someone to dress up like Santa and come over tonight. You did? Yeah, I'm going to tell Jeffy. All right, Jeffy, Santa Claus is coming over tonight. Really? Yeah, really. Is he going to bring his reindeer? What? No, he's going to Uber. The, the, the reindeer are training for Christmas. Oh, for the reindeer games. Yeah. Where they're going to laugh and call Rudolph names. Mm-hmm. Like shithead. With Jeffy! Jeffy! Or period nose. Jeffy! Do not use that language around Santa or he's going to put you on the naughty list. Oh, that must be Santa. Let me go answer the door. Hello? Hey, this is my buddy Vic I told you about. What's up? I'm Vic. You said you had a friend that looked like Santa. He does look like Santa. He looks like a criminal. Well, I mean, he did just get out of prison. Prison? Well, yeah, he was in there for about 15 years. Yeah, 15 long years! Oh, looks like Santa spilled! Oh. No, no, I'm... I looks like Santa spilled. Oh, you're gonna have to clean that up, bud. Okay. I'm not hiring him. Oh, come on. It's, it's, it's not that bad. He's harmless. Harmless? What'd he go to jail for? Well, I mean, n nothing serious. Just some Grand Theft Auto, aggravated assault, third degree murder. Third degree murder? That's right, third degree murder. Th thir third degree. Just third degree. It's like the least bad kind of murder. Oh, I'm sorry, I got that confused. It's first degree murder. <laughs> and I don't even feel bad about it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Uh, I'm not, I would not, I'm not gonna hire him. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> You're not gonna hire me? Oh, he's not gonna hire me? Gonna You're hire not gonna hire me? I will crush your windpipe if you don't hire me! He's gonna, he's gonna hire him. You're gonna hire him? Oh, you, you, got the, you got the job, buddy. I got the job! Uh, I got the job! Oh, okay. Well, let's go meet some kids. <laughs> oh, but before you meet my kid, can you please put a shirt on? Oh, no, 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 no. Vic, Vic doesn't do shirts. No, no, no. No, no, no. He, says, he, says, he says shirts make him feel constricted, like he's back in prison, and that makes him mad, and he breaks things and kills people. I will break a windpipe if I have to wear a shirt. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, no shirts, I guess. No shirts. Uh, hey, elf, bring me another beer. Here you go, Santa. I, I'm this little elf. Hey, so what the hell's going on over here? I need to get paid. I got a meeting with my pro officer after this. So where's this kid at? Uh, Jeffy, get in here. Oh, <gasps> Santa Claus? Yeah, kid, I'm whatever you want me to be. Marvin, who the hell is this? Uh, it, it's Santa Claus. Uh, Jeffy, why don't you sit on his lap? Here, come here. I don't want to sit on his lap. What if he has a big wiener? What? You don't got to worry about that one, kid. What? What the hell is that? Th those are his jingle balls. But Jeffy, just sit on his lap and tell him what you want. Oh, okay. What do you want for Christmas, kid? I want your Gucci Xbox. Yeah, we'll get you that one. We'll get right on that one, kid. Yay, Gucci Xbox. Yeah, no, I need you to get out of this because I need to get paid. Okay. All right, so I need to get paid now. Put it in my hands. I need the money. How much does he need? Uh, I don't know, like 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 like, like twenty bucks. No. What, more? Uh, fifty? A mm. hundred bucks? A hundred bucks. Yeah, it'll right? work, kid. Uh, let, me, let me find a hundred. Oh, okay, here it is. <sighs> Pleasure doing business with you, kids. Well, uh, okay, let's see. Well, uh, okay. That, that, that's, yeah. Uh, this is my house. <laughs> Not anymore, kid. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll, I'll see you later. Just please get out of my house without breaking anything else. I guess I'll get out of here then. See you, nerds. I'm never calling you again for help. I understand. Yay! I'm getting a Gucci Xbox! Marvin, I need to talk with you. Uh, okay, uh, Jeffy, can you go to your room? Yeah, I'll go make room for my Gucci Xbox.
Marvin, how could you invite that man into our house? He looked like a creep! I know, baby, but if I didn't hire him, he was gonna strangle and kill people. What? Look, 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 baby, look, all that matters now is that Jeffy got to meet Santa and he's happy. Yeah, but what was that thing Jeffy asked for? He asked for a Gucci Xbox. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Okay, I'm gonna grab my laptop so we can look it up. Oh my god. What, Marvin? That Gucci Xbox that Jeffy wants, it's $10,000! What? We can't afford that! I know, why would he ask Santa for that? Marvin, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna have to tell Jeffy that Santa ran out of Gucci parts at the North Pole. Marvin, we have to get him that Xbox, otherwise he won't believe in Santa! Well, we, oh, oh, look! That, that's where I told Santa Claus I wanted! That's the Gucci Xbox! Yeah, yeah, we, we just wanted to Google it to see what it looks like. Yeah, and for your record, if I don't get that, then that means Santa Claus isn't real, and then I'm gonna scream, and I'm gonna poke my eye. So. Well, what, Jeffy, Jeffy, Santa Claus is gonna get you that. He's gonna get you that exact one. Alright, well, I'll be back in my room. <laughs> I don't know, I choked. I, I was under pressure. Look, 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 look. We will figure something out. We can just get him a regular Xbox and write Gucci on it in Sharpie. Oh, no. Hey, man. What do you want? Well, uh, listen, I, I felt kind of bad that Vic conned you out of a hundred bucks, so I got him to do something that I think you're really going to like. I don't want anything from him. No, no, no. You're going to love it. It's great. So, in about 30 seconds, Vic is going to break in through your window and pretend to be Santa Claus delivering presents. That sounds like a terrible idea. Why would you tell him to do that? Well, come on. It'll be really cool, because then, like, your son is going to see him, and he's going to think Santa Claus is delivering presents. No, don't let him do that. Stop him. I don't want him to do that. Uh, too late! That's him! Ho oh, ho oh, ho! Oh, it's Santa Claus here to deliver the presents! You do know impersonating a Santa Claus is punishable by death! Well, 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 we meet again, Santa Claus! I thought I'd put you away for good! You should have killed me. Maybe I will! If you strike me down, I'll probably die! That's the point! Wait, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago, Santa Claus! Enough of this! That, that didn't sound good. Uh, just, just, just stay right here. Oh no. Oh no. Vic, oh, what's no. going on in here? Uh, look man, I don't know, I just snapped. I don't know. Oh, oh my god, Vic, you, you killed Santa Claus! Look, when I was younger, I never got the gifts I wanted as a kid, so when I saw him, I just snapped, okay? Vic, 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 where the hell did you even get a lightsaber? Look, I keep that thing on me at all times. Oh, Vic, you're gonna go away for a while. I'm not going anywhere! I'm not going anywhere! Uh, oh, Vic. Uh, oh, Santa Claus! Santa! Santa, are you okay? Do I look like I'm okay, boy? I have a tree crushing my windpipe! I have seconds to live! No, no, Santa, don't say that! What am I gonna tell the children? Tell them Santa's dead! He has died a violent death! No, 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 Santa, but what are they gonna believe in now? Uh, Hanukkah or something. Ho, ho, ho! No! You boys better find out who killed Santa Claus. It's a damn shame what happened here. The kids of the world will be devastated. Hi, mate. Who do you think killed Santa Claus? I, I, I don't know. Why would you even ask me that? I don't know. Why? It's not like I'm the kind of person who would, like, know the kind of person who would kill Santa Claus. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, mate, look at this. I found a beer bottle, and it's got saliva on it. We should test it for DNA. No, uh, no, 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 no. I mean, I mean that, that, that could be anybody's beer bottle. I, I mean, it could, could be mine. Why would it be your beer bottle at this crime scene? But, but because I, I have a drinking problem, and I like to drink, and I come here to drink sometimes, so it's probably mine. Oh, well, I'm still gonna test it for DNA. No, 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 Simmons, Simmons! <clears throat> Damn it. I need to warn Vic. Me. What was all that noise? So, uh, Santa Claus is dead. Santa Claus is real? He's real dead is what he is. What do you mean Santa Claus is dead? Well, Vic kind of snapped. Like, he snapped Santa Claus's neck with a Christmas tree. What? Vic killed Santa Claus? Yeah, he did. Well, go arrest Vic! I can't do that. Why do you protect this Vic guy so much? Oh, listen, me and Vic are childhood best friends. He always had my back growing up, you know? Like, when kids would give me wedgies, he'd cut their hands off. And if they gave me swirlies, he'd drown their entire family in a lake. That kind of thing. Honestly, I'm just kind of scared of him, and I don't want to do that.
that. Well, you have to go arrest him. You can't leave him on the streets. He's dangerous. No, no, no. Look, I don't even want to talk about it anymore, okay? Everybody's happy. Your son's happy. He got to meet Santa Claus. We're all happy. Well, I'm not happy. My son wants a $10,000 Gucci Xbox for Christmas. Well, then just tell him no. Be an adult. Tell him that's an unreasonable thing to ask for. Look, Santa's dead. That should make it easy. I guess you're right. <gasps> the news is on! Breaking news, okay? Santa Claus has been killed by an escaped convict named St. Vicholas, also known as Vic. There's a $10,000 reward if you have any information on Vic that will lead to his arrest. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, you guys wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't what? You wouldn't rat out my friend for $10,000. Well, look, we really need the money. Look, Jeffy wants a Gucci Xbox. Oh, come on, don't rat Vic out just for an Xbox. He's got a good heart. Well, actually, he has several good hearts in his fridge because he sells human organs on the black market. Well, you said that he got out of jail after 15 years, but the, the news says he's an escaped convict. Well, yeah, he escaped after 15 years, but he was only supposed to serve six. Six years? Six life sentences that he was convicted of. It would have been more, but they couldn't find where the bodies were buried because he ate them. So, so please don't turn him in. Well, oh, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't turn him in, right, baby? Of course not. Yeah, we won't turn him in. But I, I have some more jobs for Vic to do. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, thanks, man. It means so much that you're willing to help out my friend like this. What do you need him to do? Well, my toilet's clogged, so do you think he can come unclog my toilet? Oh, yeah, he's great at that. Oh, thank you so much. I'll go get him. I'm gonna call the cops. Okay. Uh, another cop. Okay, so just stand right there and wait a few minutes. All right, are you sure Vic's coming? Uh, yeah, he's coming. So once you arrest him, I get $10,000, right? Yep. All right. <gasps> that's him, that's him, that's him. Uh, hello? Hey, I'm here to unclog your toilet. None of those are toilet plungers. Uh, I can make it work. Well, come inside. Hey, I really appreciate you hiring me. No one really likes to hire a guy who murdered someone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where is your new What? You, you set me up! Uh, no! No! no, 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 no. All right, here's your $10,000 for ratting out Vic. Thank you so much. All right, baby, we can finally buy Jeffy that Gucci Xbox now. Yay! Hey, how'd Vic do? Oh, you did not. Oh, uh, no, we didn't get that money by ratting out Vic. Oh, where'd the money come from then? Uh, uh slinging the leg. Fairy. Which is it? Both? Uh, yeah, the, 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 the Tooth Fairy slings leg, and I'm her pimp, and that's my cut for the month. Oh, that makes sense. The Tooth Fairy's pretty hot. So, uh, you think I could get an appointment with her? Huh? huh? Do I have to lose a tooth first, or how's that work? Or does it happen during? Is she a freak? Uh, no, I'm so sorry. The Tooth Fairy's all booked up for the month. Oh, that sucks. Well, could you put in a good word for me next time you see her? I mean, I'll put a tooth under my pillow to get in bed with her, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll put in a good word for you, buddy. All right, thanks, man. I'm gonna go call Vic and see how he's doing. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't call Vic. You heard what happened to Vic, right? No, what happened? Oh, yeah, the, uh, uh, uh Elon Musk is sending him to Mars. Yep, it, yep, yeah, he uh, is. Yeah, Vic is gonna be the first guy on Mars. Wow, that's great. Good for Vic. I'm so glad he'll finally be remembered for something good instead of killing Santa Claus and all those other people. Yep, yep, so don't even try calling him because there's no cell service in space. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go home. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, let's go buy Jeffy this Xbox. Okay! Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Jeffy! Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! Are you ready to open up your gift? Well, it better be a Gucci Xbox or else I'm gonna lose my shit! What, what, just open it. It might be that. All right, let me see. A Gucci box? I didn't want a Gucci box. I wanted a Gucci Xbox. Well, we'll open up the Gucci box. There might be another prize in there. All right, let me see. <gasps> a Gucci Xbox! It's a Christmas miracle! Santa Claus is real! Marvin, do we tell him that Santa died? No, 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 no. Let's just enjoy Christmas. You sit right there until the judge can see you. I'm not talking until I get a beer! You thought you can get rid of me? <laughs> Remember kids, be nice, not naughty. St. Patrick's Day. So if you're not wearing green, you get pinched. See me, I have green pants on. So you better not pinch me or else I beat your ass. I have black belt taekwondo. <laughs> anyway, if you're not wearing green, then I give the entire class permission to pinch you. So go. Who's not wearing green? Cody is it, Cody is it. Pinch a pinch a pinch. No, no, wait, 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 I have green on. Where? Uh, you got three seconds, dude. Uh, what's it, uh, oh god damn it. Pinch a pinch a pinch a pinch a pinch a pinch a pinch 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 p
Uh, she has green under her shoes, ugly green eyes. Yeah, and this stupid pigtail thing. Yeah. What, what about Jeffy? Mario Lewandowski! Oh. Yeah, see, Cody, you're the only loser who didn't wear green today. Well, I have this green thong at home. I just didn't wear it because blue's my color. Well, you do know that every 15 seconds you don't wear green, we get to pinch you. What? That's not a rule. Yeah, that's now it is. Pinch him. What? Ah! 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 Okay, that's it. I'm going home. I'm going home. Oh, come on, Chody. Don't be a poor sport. Oh, nice one, dude. I know. I just thought of that name. <laughs> Man, Joseph, remember when we pinched Cody today for not wearing green? Oh, yeah, dude. What a time to be alive. <laughs> yeah, I want to pinch him again. It's just so fun. Oh, me too. Why does he always forget to wear green on St. Patrick's Day? Because he's an idiot, dude. What's up, homies? What the f***, Cody? What are you wearing? It's my do-rag, Snoopy. I got tired of getting pinched, so I joined a gang. You didn't join a gang. Bro, you're not in a gang. Yeah, I am. The gang green gang. We amputate snitches when they get infected with snitch juice. That's not a real gang, Cody. Stop lying, Cody. Yeah, it is. In the Powerpuff Girls, we call ourselves the Slimes. There's the Bloods, there's the Crips, and we're the Slimes. They call me Key Lime Slime because we're all named after something green. There's this guy whose name is Slime Slime, and he's our leader. Dude, I swear to God, if you step outside looking like that, you're going to get shot. Nah, stop spitting on my wheezies, dog. What? Yeah, you're totally yanking my bacon. Back off the road before the commode explodes, homie. Dude, get him. Okay, I'm going to pinch you, Cody. No, you can't pinch me because I, I, I'm greener than a, than a pasture or some shit. Ow, ow, stop it, ow, you can't pinch me! What are you gonna do, call your slimes? <laughs> yeah, th that's exactly what I'm gonna do. That, that's the slime call. They must be busy sliming around somewhere. Well, I'm gonna go slime walk home. Well, what's a slime walk? Well, it's where you slide on your ass like a snail, like Gary from Spongebob. Dude, what the hell is wrong with him? He's just so weird. <laughs> Hopefully now they'll never pinch me again for not wearing green. Skin a rinky dinky ding, skin a rinky doo. I love dudes. Ow. Oh, look, a kitty cat. Wrong neighborhood, SA. Excuse me, what? This is Cash Crush territory. Do you want to get Cash Crush fever? What? Oh, this. No, 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 I'm not really in a gang. See, it's just St. Patrick's Day and I have to wear green so I don't get pinched. So you're telling me since I'm not wearing your colors, you're going to pinch me? Uh oh, no, I would never. Hey, cuz, what you doing on my block? This crypt territory. But Dad? This is Cash Crush Territory. Oh, I told your pussy ass last time this is my block. Get off it. You're barking up the wrong tree, Gato. Oh, man, I swear to God, I'll put a bullet in your ass right now, put it tat. I'd like to see you try. Guys, guys, stop yanking each other's bacons. This is slime territory. Blood game, bitch! Ow! Ow. Die, Gato! Ah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong, Slimey? What happened to your green bandana? I got jumped by a bunch of gangs on the way home. See, I told you! Yeah, we said that was gonna happen. Well, I'm never gonna join a gang again. Ow! Junior, what was that for? You're not wearing green anymore. <laughs> Damn it, I'm tired of this not wearing green crap. Okay, fine, how about this? What if I got a green tattoo? Would that count? Yeah, I mean, you'd always have green on you. We couldn't pinch you. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. I'll get, like, a four-leaf clover tattoo to my hand. Hey, guys, I'm back. Cody, why do you look like the Incredible Hulk? More like the Incredible Dork. <laughs> Okay, well, I went to the tattoo shop to get my four-leaf clover tattoo on my hand, and it looked like shit, and the guy said it would be really painful to get it removed, so I said, you know what? Just do my entire body. Make me completely green. That's the solution. Yeah, so now, every St. Patrick's Day, you guys better watch out, because you can't pinch me anymore. Whatever you say, dude. Did it hurt to get your whole body tattooed? Oh, it was the most excruciating pain I've ever felt in my life, but hey, I'm green. I'm green, da ba dee da ba die you know, like the, like the, like the blue song? Cody, we're just trying to watch the news. The news! Breaking news, okay? The President of the United States is holding an emergency press conference. Let's go to that now. My fellow Americans, today is St. Patrick's Day. I was pinched for not wearing green, and that really cheesed me off. So, I'm making the color green illegal. If you are caught wearing the color green, you will be sentenced to 30 years in prison. The color green's illegal, but my shorts are green. My whole outfit is green. Uh, guys? Uh-oh. What's wrong, Cody? Uh, Earth to Junior, my whole body's green. Oh my god, it is green. What are you going to do, Cody? I don't know, Junior. I'm illegal. I didn't know you were Mexican. What? No, Junior. I mean, I'm green. Oh, so you're an illegal alien. What? No, Junior, shut up. I mean, I can be arrested because of the color of my skin. Join the club. It's been happening for years. What? No, no. I mean, like, this is really important. Oh, my people ain't important? Come on now. My people ain't important. What? No, I just mean, like, right now, this just happened, so please hide me. Oh, hide you like in an underground railroad? What? No, Junior, shut up. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, well, I don't know what you're going to do, but me and Joseph need to change our clothes so we don't get arrested. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, Joseph, this is gonna have to be our outfits from now on. Yeah, dude, I chose a yellow shirt with my name on it because I thought it would be original and unique, right? Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever done that before. Hey, Cody, what are you gonna do about your outfit? Well, if I just wear this every day for the rest of my life, I guess I'll be fine. Cody, why are you wearing all that? Well, this is the only outfit I could find that would cover up all the green. And I'm gonna be honest, Junior, it's pretty goddamn hot in this outfit, so could you please be a gentleman and turn on your AC? Cody, why are you wearing a football helmet? The, the, the Spider-Man mask should cover your face. Well, see, that's the thing, Junior. For some reason, the Spider-Man mask leaves my ears exposed, so I'm gonna have to keep this stupid football helmet on. I still see your ear. Oh, God damn it. Is that better? Yeah, okay, I don't see any green right now. Cody, you can't wear that every day for the rest of your life. Well, I'm gonna have to until they hopefully change the law. There's someone at the door, I'll get it. Hello? Hey there, random green inspection. Random green inspection? Yeah, ever since they made the color green illegal, I now have a warrant to come into anyone's house and find things that are green. Well, there's nothing green in- What the fuck is that? Wait, what? That right there, what is this? What, what is this, some kind of green plant? Get the fuck out of here. What, 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 what? Plants are illegal now, and that lawn you have out there, gonna have to tear that up. Only dirt lawns are allowed. I don't even know what the hell we're gonna do about trees. So everything that's green is illegal? Everything. Even if I pick my nose and have a booger on no, my finger? Uh, don't, don't say that word, please. What, booger? Yeah, yes, that word, don't say it. But booger's not a bad God word. Damn it. Hey, Brooklyn guy! Did you miss me? Oh, you're wearing your cop outfit. Big strong man. A manly oh, man. Yep, a ladies right. man. Mm -hmm. I bet you're getting laid tonight. Yeah, probably not, Booger. Oh, Brooklyn guy, it's St. Patrick's Day and you're not wearing green. Bitch! Uh, uh, Booger, Booger, actually, you know what? The color green is illegal now, so I think I can arrest you. Oh, you wouldn't arrest your best pal, Booger. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't, but, you know, I have to because it's my job. Yeah, you're right. You're the manliest man. You're the man that does what he wants, so you you can arrest me. Yeah, I, I will be doing that. Who are you talking to? Oh, this is my imaginary friend, Booger. I, I, I know you can't see him, but he's annoying as all hell, and he appears anytime anybody says the word Booger three times. Hey, who's this weird horn kid? Like, you can't hear him, but he just called you a weird horn kid, which, to be fair, uh, he has a point. Like, why do you have horns? I don't know. Huh. Hey, Booger guy, are you going to arrest this guy too? I mean, I might if he has green in his house. Ooh, I'll help you find some green on him. Ooh, ooh, you know what, Booger? I have an idea. How about you go outside and you count everything you see that's green? Ooh, that's a great idea, Booger guy. I'll go do that because you're the man. You're the man. Yeah, yeah, I know. Get to counting, Booger. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, God, he's so annoying. Okay, so I'm going to come in and look for you if you had One, anything. One, two, three, four, Booger. Five, Booger. Five, Booger. What? Booger, what are you doing? I'm counting everything green outside just like you said. Okay, uh, uh, how about this, Booger? You see that yard way the hell over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go count every blade of grass in that yard. Okay, I'll do that! Oh, Jesus, I'm coming in. Who's at the door, Junior? It was the cops. What are the cops doing here? They're looking for green. Dude, hi, my weed! All right, random green check. Just looking for anything green. Oh my God, it's Spider-Man! I know you're trying to hide with that football helmet and Harley jacket, but I just want to say I'm a huge fan. Wait a minute, which Spider-Man are you? Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, huh? Uh, none of those. I'm the Miles Morales Spider-Man. Oh, really? Well, you got any drugs on you, boy? Dude, get used to it. It's a skin issue. But no, 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 I'm not actually Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, not Spider-Man. Uh, aren't you only here to look for green things? Yeah, that's true, and I don't see anything green, so I guess you guys are in the clear. What the fuck? Get on the ground! You're under arrest! <laughs> what I do? This! What, Junior, what's he see? Uh, your back's exposed, and it's green. Aw, oh, damn it! All right, you're not actually Miles Morales, so let's see who you really are. Oh my god, it's Spider-Man! I'm such a big fan! You already did that. Oh, that's right. So let's see who you really are! You're not actually Spider-Man, you're the Incredible Hulk! But which Hulk are you? Are you Eric Bana? Huh? Ed Norton? Huh? Mark Ruffalo? Uh, Eric Bana? Wrong answer! You're going to jail! Well, actually, you're, you're going to court, and then you're going to jail! What was the right answer? Mark Ruffalo, come on! We have to do something, Joseph! Dude, what are we gonna do? Order, 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 order! Cody, you are being accused of wearing the color green! Although I can see you actually are green, so you're obviously guilty! But you are guilty of wearing the color green after the color green was made illegal. So how do you explain your greenness? Uh, well, you see, Your Honor, I, I had my entire body tattooed green because I was tired of people pinching me on St. Patrick's Day, and then they passed a law making the color green illegal. So, so that's, that's what happened. Hmm, I see it's a tattoo. And you had the tattoo before the law, so I can sentence you to 30 years in prison. What a shame. Ooh, I know. I order you to get the tattoos removed with excruciatingly painful lasers. 
excruciatingly painful lasers. Uh oh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ow, oh god, it burns, ow, 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 ooh, ow, ow, ouch, owie, yikes, jeez. Are you okay, Cody? Ah, uh, Junior, that tattoo removal was the most excruciating experience of my entire life. Ugh. Did it hurt? Uh, yes, Junior, I just said it hurt. Don't you know how they get rid of tattoos? They burn them off with a laser that's like a thousand degrees. That's a lot of college. What you gonna do with all that knowledge? Oh, God, God they burned my skin. Cody, why are your eyes red? Oh, because the blood vessels in my eyes burst from all the pain I was in. And then I tried to lick the laser because I thought it looked tasty, and then it burned my tongue, see? Uh... And then when they were burning my scalp, all my hair just fell out, so that's why I don't have any hair. Ugh. Wait a minute. You're the Cody from the chip challenge no, video. Shh. No, 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 I'm not. No, no. So, Cody, did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I learned that I probably should have just bought a green shirt and not tattooed my entire body. Yeah, so anyway, pipe down, Cody. We're trying to watch the news. The news! Oh, no, I'm in too much pain. Breaking news, okay? The President of the United States is holding another emergency press conference. Let's go to that now. My fellow Americans, I realize the law I passed earlier to outlaw the color green was pretty silly. So, I am now making the color green legal again. But I'm introducing a new law that it is now illegal to pinch the president. Wow, Cody, you got that tattoo lasered off for no reason. Hijo de puta! What'd you say? Uh, son of a bitch. That was son of a bitch in Spanish. What's wrong, Chef PB? Tom Brady decided to retire again! <laughs> oh, Chef PB, he had to retire. He lost his wife and his whole family. Look, shut up and just come and eat breakfast, God! <sighs> Alright, Junior, for breakfast, I made you something special. My new dish, grape jelly ravioli. Grape jelly ravioli? Yeah, I thought of it last night. Genius idea! <laughs> now eat up! I think I'm just gonna go to school. But the ravioli! Come on! All right, Kraus, so today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Kraus. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees his shadow, that means there's going to be six more weeks of winter. What happens if your mom sees her shadow? You know, because she's so fat and massive, like, there's no way she can see her shadow. Because she can't, like, look down because her big, fat belly's in the way. Yeah, I get it. She's fat. Me, Rocky, egg roll. Me, Rocky, egg roll. Get in my belly. Right. Get in my belly. Right. All right, Kraus, I'm going to eat my egg roll, and then we'll get started. The teacher's choking! We gotta do something! What the hell are we gonna do, dude? We're kids! Uh, I think he just died. Dude, that means no school! <laughs> hey, just doing my daily classroom death check to see if anybody died. <gasps> What's that? A body? Oh no. Well, he has no pulse. He's dead. He's dead, kids. Your teacher's dead. You all witnessed a man die today. You're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your lives. Crisis counseling will be available after lunch. Ooh, a fortune cookie. I wonder what it says. A man died and he's eating a fortune cookie? You will live a long, prosperous life. Oh, man. If only he had opened his fortune cookie sooner, maybe he wouldn't have died. Anyway, bye, kids. Do we just go home? Yeah, I guess so. Well, Junior, we just watched our teacher die. What do you want to do now? I don't know. You want to play a game? Oh, yeah. Okay, we could play uh, blackjack or poker. I don't want to play a card game. Ooh, I have one. How about if you can correctly guess what card is on top of the deck, I won't throw the cards all over the place and make you pick them up. Ooh, that sounds fun. It does? Yeah, okay, okay. I want to guess. Uh, I think the top card is the three of leaves. What, what do you mean, leaves? You know, the card that looks like a leaf. Are, are you talking about clubs or spades? The one that looks like a leaf, Cody. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, Junior, these are the cards. Now, tell me which one you think is which. Okay, so that's obviously hearts. Yeah. And that's diamonds. Yes. And those are three-leaf clovers. N no, those are called clubs. No, those look like three-leaf clovers. Well, they look like that, but that's not what they're called. And, and those are leaves. No, those are spades. Cody, those are leaves. They even have a little stem at the bottom. Those are leaves. Yeah, but they're called spades. I'm calling them leaves. Okay, fine. Just pick a card. I think this top card is the three of leaves. <sighs> okay, let's see. Oh, nope, it's the two of diamonds. Sorry. That means I'm gonna have to mess your shit up. Ugh. Okay, there you go. Pick him up. I'm not gonna help. I'm gonna go home. <sighs> okay, I just picked up all the cards. I'm really tired. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. 
Uh, what an exhausting day. I saw my teacher die. I had to pick up 52 cards. Uh, I'm so tired. I'm just gonna go to bed. Uh. Junior, wake up. It's time to go to school. <laughs> Why are you crying again, Jeff BB? Because Tom Brady decided to retire again. Wait, again? Yes, again. But he already retired. I know, he retired again. But, like, he already retired yesterday. No, he retired a year ago, stupid. So, he retired for a third time? No, only the second time. Look, come downstairs and eat. Shut up. What the? Huh? All right, Junior, for breakfast, I made you something special. My new dish, grape jelly ravioli. Shit, baby, you already made this for me yesterday. No, Junior, this is the first time I ever made this dish. What are you talking about? No, you literally gave this to me yesterday. Stop being crazy, Junior. I just thought of this last night. I'm going crazy. I'm going to go to school. All right, Kras, so today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Kras. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Guys, Groundhog's Day was yesterday. No, Junior, today is Groundhog's Day. It's February 2nd. No, 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 no. I already lived this day. I lived it yesterday. Junior, are you feeling okay? Wait, what is Groundhog's Day, dude? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees his shadow, that means there'll be six more weeks of winter. And yesterday I said your mom's so fat she can't even see her own shadow. That's a new one. That's nice, dude. That was a good one. <laughs> no, no, I already said that yesterday. Junior, this is the first time I've heard that. Me, Rocky Agro. Me, Rocky Agro. Get in my bell rack. Get in my bell rack. All right, class. I'm going to eat my egg roll, and then we'll get started. <laughs> Guys, the teacher's choking again. I knew this was going to happen. We need to help him. What are we going to do, dude? We're just kids. <laughs> Guys, look. He just died. Dude, that means no school. <laughs> Dude, Cody, this happened yesterday. And look, the doctor's about to come in the classroom and do a random death check. Hey, just doing my daily classroom death check to see if anybody died. <gasps> What's that? A body? See, Cody, I told you. Oh, no. Well, he has no pulse. He's dead. He's dead, kids. Your teacher's dead. You all witnessed a man die today. You're going to have to live with that for the rest of your lives. Crisis counseling will be available after lunch. Ooh, a fortune cookie. I wonder what it says. A man died and he's eating a fortune cookie? Yes, Cody, this happened yesterday. The fortune cookie's gonna say, you will live a long, prosperous life. You will live a long, prosperous life. Oh, man. If only he had opened his fortune cookie sooner, maybe he wouldn't have died. Anyway, bye, kids. Damn, Junior, good guess on the fortune cookie. No, Cody, how would I know it says that? Well, I bet a lot of fortune cookies say that. No, Cody, it's because I already lived this life yesterday. I already know everything that's gonna happen today. Junior, I think you should just go home and lay down. Look, I'll come over with you. Okay. I feel like I'm going crazy. Calm down, Junior. Let's just play a card game. You want to play blackjack or poker? I don't want to play a card game. Ooh, I have one. How about if you can correctly guess what card is on the top of the deck, I won't throw the cards everywhere and make you pick them up. It's the two of diamonds. Okay, if you say so. Oh my god, wow, Junior, that is the two of diamonds. Good guess. I knew it was going to be the two of diamonds. Okay, hot shit. What's the next card on top, then? I don't know. We didn't play that far yesterday. Okay, then just guess. <sighs> the three of leaves. What, what do you mean, leaves? Just flip it, Cody. Okay. Nope, it's the Jack of Hearts. Sorry. Guess that means I gotta mess your shit up. Okay, I'm not gonna help you pick him up. I'm gonna go home. Okay, I'm just gonna go to bed, and maybe I'm just in a nightmare. Okay, okay, I think I'm just going crazy. It's just like a nightmare. It's a bad dream. I'm gonna go to bed, I'll wake up, and this whole thing would just be a bad dream. Yeah, it's just a bad dream. It's just a bad dream. Okay. <sighs> You wake up! It's time to go to school! <laughs> Wait! Chef me, why are you crying? Because Tom Brady decided to retire again! <laughs> this can't be happening! But it is, Junior! It is happening! No, Chef you don't understand! I've already relived this day before! Me too! Like, why would he do this? Retire again? The second time? So crazy! No, Chef be like, I'm talking, I've relived this day twice already! Junior, are you on drugs or something? No, like, I've relived the whole day, I already know what's gonna happen! Like, for breakfast, you made grape jelly ravioli! What? How do you know about my grape jelly ravioli? That's be a special dish! Because I I've had it before. I had it yesterday and the day before that. You must have overheard me speaking about it in the kitchen. That's what it was. No, no, I had it yesterday, Chef PP. It can't be. This is the first time I made this dish. I have to go to school. Just get out of my way. But what about Tom Brady? <laughs> What's going on? What's wrong, Junior? You seem like you're freaking out. What's today's date? Well, it's Groundhog's Day. It's February 2nd. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees a shadow, that means there'll be six more weeks of winter. Shut the hell up, Cody! Jesus, Junior, I didn't know you didn't like Groundhog's Day. No, guys, something weird's going on. I've been reliving the same day over and over and over again. <sighs> Junior, stop trying to prank us. Yeah, that's not cool, dude. No, guys, I've already relived this day. I know everything's gonna happen. I'll prove it to you. The teacher's about to come up there and say that Ring Ring's bringing them egg rolls. All right, Cross. So today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. 
minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Cross. See, guys, I told you. Junior, he loves egg rolls. It's a coincidence his wife would bring them. Yeah, dude. No, guys, he's about to come back with an egg roll, singing a song saying, Me, Reiki, egg roll. Me, Reiki, egg roll. Get in my berry. Get in my berry. And he's going to choke on an egg roll. What? Me, Reiki, egg roll. Me, Reiki, egg roll. Get in my berry. Get in my berry. All right, Cross, I'm going to eat my egg roll, and then we'll get started. <laughs> See, guys, he's choking! We gotta do something! What are we supposed to do, dude? We're just kids! See, guys, look, he just died! He died? That means no school! <laughs> Junior, how did you know that was gonna happen? Because, Cody, I've been reliving this day over and over and over again. I know everything that's about to happen. Wait, so you knew he was gonna die and you didn't do anything about it? Well, I, I, I just... Wh what? No, Cody, listen, I already knew it was gonna happen, and look, a doctor's about to do a death check right now. Hey, just doing my daily classroom death check to see if anybody died. <gasps> What's that? A body? See, Cody, see? Oh, no. Well, he has no pulse. He's dead. He's dead, kids. Your teacher's dead. You all witnessed a man die today. You're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your lives. Crisis counseling will be available after lunch. Ooh, a fortune cookie. I wonder what it says. A man just died and he's eating a fortune cookie? Yes, Cody, listen. The fortune cookie's gonna say, you will live a long, prosperous life. Look, how will I know that? You will live a long, prosperous life. Oh, man. If only he had opened his fortune cookie sooner, maybe he wouldn't have died. Anyway, bye, kids. See, Cody, look. How would I know that? Okay, Junior, that is pretty weird. You knew the teacher was gonna get egg rolls, and you knew he was gonna choke on him and die, and then you knew a doctor was gonna come and open a fortune cookie, and you knew what the fortune cookie said. Because I've relived this day over and over and over again, Cody. I know everything that's gonna happen. Okay, then what happens next? Come to my house, I'll show you. So what happens next, Junior? Okay, so you bring a deck of cards out and you suggest playing a card game. Yeah, I did bring my deck of cards. Yeah, and you say if I can guess the top card correctly, you won't throw the cards all over the place. I was gonna say that. The top card is the two of diamonds. Oh, let's see. Oh my god, Junior, it is the two of diamonds. I told you, I've relived this day over and over and over again. The second card is the jack of hearts. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, Junior, it is the Jack of Hearts! This is amazing! So you believe me now? I've relived this day over and over? Well, yeah, Junior, this is pretty incredible, but wait, what's the next card? We haven't gotten that far. You've never showed me the third card. Well, just guess, for fun. <sighs> the Three of Leaves. What, what do you mean, leaves? Cody, just flip it over! Okay, let me see. Nah, Junior, it's the Three of Diamonds. Sorry, I'm gonna have to mess your shit up. You said it was just for fun! Nah, you still got it wrong. Oh, Cody, but you do believe me that I've been reliving the same day over and over and over again. I mean, yeah, I guess that's the only explanation. It's kind of like that movie Groundhog Day. What, what do you mean? Well, you know that movie Groundhog Day with Bill Murray, where he relives Groundhog Day over and over again? How's he fix it? Uh, it's been a really long time since I've seen the movie. I can't remember. Well, come on, Cody, help me! Uh, you know what? I'll watch it, and then I'll tell you tomorrow. Well, I don't have till tomorrow, Cody! Oh! What do you say the name of the movie was? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go back to bed, and, and this is just a nightmare. Tomorrow will be a new day. Tomorrow will be a new day, and I'm not gonna relive this day. Okay, I'm just gonna go to bed again. I'm gonna go to bed, I'm gonna wake up, and tomorrow's gonna be a whole new day. A whole new day! And today is just a nightmare, I'm just reliving it, but, but if I go to bed, tomorrow will be a whole nother day, and if it's not, I'm just gonna lose my mind. I, I, I won't be able to take it anymore. Okay, let me just try it. Junior, wake up! It's time to go to school! <laughs> Let me guess, Tom Brady retired again? Oh man, you already seen the news on your phone, didn't you? <laughs> no, I already knew this was gonna happen. Then why didn't you tell me, Junior? Save me the heartache! <laughs> <sighs> What's wrong, Junior? You didn't get a lot of sleep? No, and the teacher's about to eat egg rolls. What? All right, Cross, so today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Cross. How'd you know he was gonna get egg rolls? Lucky guess. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees a shadow, there'll be six more weeks of winter. Cody, your mom's so fat. What if she sees her shadow because she's so fat and round? That's a new one. <laughs> nice one, dude. <laughs> the teacher's about to come back singing, Me, Rocky Egg Roll, get in my belly, and he's gonna choke on his egg roll and die. Me Rocky egg roll, me Rocky egg roll, get in my bell right, get in my bell right. All right, class, I'm gonna eat my egg roll, and then we'll get started. The teacher's choking. Oh, Junior, you caught it. You said this was gonna happen. Yeah, now he's about to fall over dead. He's dead. He's dead. That means no more school. <laughs> Junior, are you psychic or something? You just predicted everything that was gonna happen. Yeah, I'm like, that's so raven. I can tell you everything is about to happen. The doctor's about to come in and do a death check, and then he's gonna say there's crisis counselors, and then he's gonna eat a fortune cookie. Hey, just doing my daily classroom death check to see if anybody died. <gasps> What's that? A body? Oh no. Well, he has no pulse. He's dead. He's dead, kids. Your teacher's dead. You all witnessed a man die today. You're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your lives. Crisis counseling will be available after lunch.
Ooh, a fortune cookie. Oh, I wonder what it says. The man just died. Why would he eat a fortune cookie? He's going to open it. It's going to say, you will live a long, prosperous life. And then he's going to say, if only the teacher would have read this sooner. You will live a long, prosperous life. Oh, man. If only he had opened his fortune cookie sooner, maybe he wouldn't have died. Anyway, bye, kids. Junior, what is going on? You must really be psychic. Yeah, I'm psychic. Come to my house. I'll prove it. Okay. Okay, Junior, if you're really psychic, I have a deck of cards here. So tell me what- The top card's the two of diamonds. Wait, really? Wow, it is the two of diamonds, but I bet you can't- The next card's the jack of hearts. Um, damn, it is the jack of hearts. That's that's crazy. Okay, but The next the card's the three of diamonds. What? No way. Come on, Junior, this is nuts. What's going on? Okay, Cody, listen, I'm not psychic, but I've been reliving the same day over and over and over again, and this is the fourth day I've relived this day. Well, do you want to guess what the fourth card is, just for fun? I don't know what it is because I didn't relive that day. Well, just guess, just for fun. Uh, the three of leaves. What, what do you mean, leaves? Just flip it, Cody. <sighs> okay. No, it's the seven of spades. Those are leaves. Those are seven of leaves. No, those are called spades. They have stems, Cody. Those are leaves. Okay, well, you still got it wrong, so I'm going to have to mess your shit up. But I uh, thought, you thought you said it was just for fun. Nope, you still got it wrong. Cool, but Cody, listen, I've been reliving the same day over and over again. I'm going crazy. I want to kill myself. Oh, it's like the movie Groundhog's Day. What? what yeah, yes, Cody. How's that movie end? Uh, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I could watch it and tell you tomorrow. No, no, Cody, listen. Right now, Google the ending of the movie. How's he fix it? Okay, let me look it up. Uh, it looks like he's just nice to everybody. So he just does nice things for people? Yeah, he's, he's just nice to everyone and that makes the day end. Okay, so tomorrow if I wake up and I repeat the same stupid day, if I'm nice to everyone, it'll fix it. Yeah, I guess so. But if you're gonna do that, I want you to give me a big, wet, sloppy kiss right on the lips. That would make me very happy. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna go to bed and do nice things for people tomorrow. Good night, Cody. Good night. I'm looking forward to that kiss. Okay, I'm going to go to sleep, and then tomorrow I'm going to do nothing but nice things for everyone. I'm going to do nice things for everybody, and that'll fix it. Hopefully. So I'm just going to sleep. Junior, wake up! It's time to go to school! <laughs> What's wrong, Chef Pee Pee? Tom Brady decided to retire again! <laughs> Don't worry, Chef Pee Pee. It's going to be okay. It's not going to be okay! <laughs> yeah, it is, Chef Pee Pee. We have all those memories watching them, and... There's also one more goat left in the world. <laughs> Who's that? You, you're the Tom Brady of chefs. Really? Yeah. Thank you, yeah, I love you. Look, come downstairs, I made you something special. <laughs> Junior, for breakfast, I made you something special. My new dish, grape jelly ravioli. Oh, wow, Chef PB, that looks delicious. I know, right? I thought of it last night. It's crazy, it's one of a kind. I was just eating ravioli and I said, instead of red sauce, let's put grape jelly in that thing. Yeah, that's breakfast, that's breakfast right there. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat every bite just for you, Chef PB. Really, Junior? Yeah, really, I'm gonna eat it. Oh. Junior, be honest with me. How was it? Oh, it was the greatest thing I ever eaten. Really? So I should submit it to a cookie contest? Oh, oh yeah. I, <laughs> I definitely would. I gotta go to school, Chef Pee Pee. Yes! Oh man, I'm a goat! All right, Kraus. So today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Kraus. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees his shadow, there'll be six more weeks of winter. Cody, your mom's really skinny and not fat at all. But, uh, are you joking? No, I'm being completely serious. I'm sorry for all the fat jokes I've ever said about your mom. Wow, that's really nice. Thank you, Junior. You want to grab my butt? Oh, boy, would I? Ugh. Oh, that is a firm rump, thanks. Dude, you're being really nice today. Yeah, I just want to be really nice to everyone. I mean, since we're doing that, can I borrow five dollars? Yeah, sure. Have my lunch money for the whole week. Ooh, appreciate it, bro. Black Panther was the best movie ever made. And Colin Kaepernick was the best quarterback ever. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. You're a true friend. You're a true friend. <laughs> me, Rocky Agro. Me, Rocky Agro. Get in my bell rack. Get in my bell rack. All right, class. I'm going to eat my egg roll, and then we'll get started. The teacher's choking! We should do something! What are we gonna do, dude? We're just kids! I'll save him! I'll save you! <laughs> oh, Junior, you save him my life! You get A for rest of the year! Now I'm gonna open up my fortune cookie! Junior, you're a hero! Darn it, the teacher didn't die, so now we're gonna stay in school! You will live a wrong, prosperous life! Thanks to Junior, I will! My boy! My homie! Random classroom death check! Anybody dead in here? No? Okay. All right, Kraus, since I almost died today, but I live thanks to Junior, I'm gonna go home and bang my wife with my two-inch Punisher to celebrate. So all of you can go home. Woohoo, dude, I'm gonna go spend my five dollars. <laughs> hey, Junior, you wanna go back to your house and hang out? Yeah, come on, buddy. 
So, Cody, what do you want to do for the rest of the day? Well, I was thinking we could play a card game. You want to play blackjack or poker? So, which card game would make you the happiest? Ah, uh, well, I was thinking you could guess whatever card's on the top, and if you get it wrong, I'll throw the cards all over the place. How about I give you a big, fat kiss instead? Oh, I'd like that even more. All right, pucker up. <laughs> okay, did that make you happy, Cody? Ah, uh, two would make me even more happy. Really? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Okay, are you happy now? Are you happy? Yeah, but I'd be even more happy if we had a sleepover and I was the Big Spoon. Come on, Cody. Really? <laughs> big Spoon coming through. Uh, Cody, your leg's digging into my butt. <laughs> That's not my leg. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Junior. <laughs> this better work. <laughs> Junior, it's pouring rain outside and the roads are flooded, so school was canceled. Uh, morning, Pee Pee. Oh, hey, Chef Pee Pee. Wait, Cody, why are you in the bed with Junior? Junior uh, wanted this. Well, wait a minute. What's today's date, Chef Pee Pee? February 3rd. Wait, when did Tom Brady retire? Yesterday. <gasps> hey, guys, it worked. It's a new day. Yeah, it worked. Give me a big old smooch, Junior. <laughs> Back off me, Cody. It worked, Chef Pee Pee. It worked. I don't know what you're talking about. It worked, Cody. It worked. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk to you. Not right now, Karen. I bootleg downloaded the movie Twisters from a shady website. Movie theaters are just too expensive these days. Oh, well, is it any good? Well, the quality's just okay. The guy who recorded it is eating his popcorn really loud, and he put his own watermark all over it. But it's just so scary. There's just so many tornadoes. Pointy, you know those aren't real tornadoes, right? <laughs> yeah, right, Karen. You're telling me that's fake? No way. They don't have that kind of technology. Pointy, listen, can you please pause your movie so I can talk to you? Pause twisters? What if I miss something, like another tornado? Boiny, there's probably gonna be more tornadoes. Yeah, you're right. Okay, make it quick. Well, Boiny, the other night I cheated. But cheated? What do you mean you cheated? I cheated, Boiny! What? Karen, you cheated? How could you do this to me? I'm sorry, Boiny. I just can't help myself. It's so easy. Well, is this the first time you've done something like this? No, Boiny. I cheat every chance I get, every time you leave the room. Oh, who have you even cheated with? Well, there was one time with your brother Jonathan, but it was his idea. You cheated with Jonathan? I did, Boiny. Karen, you're a serial cheater. Uh oh, uh, I feel so dirty. I'm leaving you, Karen. I'm leaving you. Why, Boiny? Why? <laughs> Why? Why am I leaving, Karen? Because you cheated on me! Because you're a lying, cheating whore! Lying! Cheating! Whore! Oh, I never should have told him! But I didn't know he'd act this way! <laughs> Jeffy, stop smelling those markers. They're gonna make you high. Why? So I can be like you? I'm not high, Jeffy. Marvin, he can smell those markers. They're scented markers. Yeah, Daddy, I'm smelling some fluffernutter right now. That sounds like a bad word. I bend her over and stuck it right in her fluffernutter. Jeffy, don't say that. <laughs> There's someone at the door. Hello? Hey there, Marvin. I just happened to be in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop by before I kill myself. But what's going on, buddy? You don't look so good. Oh, I don't? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess maybe you've just never seen the face of a guy whose wife is a cheating bitch. That's it, that's the face, it's me. Wait, wait, your, your wife cheated on you? What gave you that idea? What you said? Yes, she did, she's a cheating bitch. Apparently she cheated multiple times. Every time I was out of the room, apparently, just all, 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 all the time. You know, I never checked the closet, so I guess that's where she was keeping them. Oh, okay. Like rooms. Well, what, what, how'd you catch her being a cheater? Oh, I walked into the room and she was eating a pumpkin. What? Never mind, she's a cheating bitch. She cheated on me with my own brother. What, your own brother? Yes. Ugh. What, do you want to come inside? I bet that's what she asked them. You know what? I bet she didn't even have to. I bet they already knew they could. That's her kink. Oh, listen, come inside, buddy. Let's just talk about this. <laughs> hey, Daddy, look, I'm a unicorn. Jeffy, stop it. Go to your room. We have to talk about adult things. All right, Daddy. Well, I'm going to go to my room and use my markers to color my butthole to look like the LGBTQ flag. And it's going to smell fruity. <laughs> Marvin, what's wrong with your friend? His wife cheated on him. Oh, that's so sad. 
God. Hey, are you guys talking about me? Because that would be fucked up. It's pretty messed up to make fun of a crying man. Hey, what can we do to make you happy, buddy? Well, you could build a time machine and send me back to before the plane hit the tower so I could stand on top of them and die. What? No, buddy, I thought you were going to say send you back before your wife cheated on you. Oh, no. Who knows when that started? She was probably doing that before she even met me. Wait, don't you cheat on your wife all the time? Oh, here we go. Yes, I do. But I can do that because I'm the man. I work. I pay the bills so I can do that. It's like a tax. Wait, what, isn't that the problem, though? Maybe that's why she cheated. Marvin, Marvin, are you, are you sure your wife's not cheating on you? Because that is cheater talk. You should smell her breath and make sure it doesn't smell like pumpkin. Listen, buddy. Look, just calm down. What can we do to like get you distracted from your wife cheating on you? You're right, Marvin. I should cheat on my wife to get back at her. But you said. already cheat on your wife. No. No, no, this time it'll be different because it's going to be for revenge. Like, like Japan, they blew up a couple of ships at Pearl Harbor, so we dropped two nukes on their asses. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bang two hot bitches. Come on, Marvin, to the strip club. Marvin, no. Marvin, to my car. But you can't drive, you've been drinking. I'm not going to drive. You're going to drive. Wink, wink. <laughs> I gotta go with him. Marvin, please no! I gotta make sure he doesn't drive drunk. Okay. Oh no, you're not driving. Give me your keys. Oh, you want my keys, huh? Okay, there you go. Yeah, you're not driving. It's push to start, you fucking idiot. It's a Hyundai Sonata. Oh no, no, don't drive! Don't drive! Please! No, stop, 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 stop. The best part about working the night shift alone is you get all the donuts. Oh, winking Wallaby, is that a drunk driver? I'm gonna go get him. Oh my god, the cops are behind us! The cops? Pfft, I'm a cop. If I just let them know, they'll let them go. Uh, oh god, thank god you're stopping. Just let me do all the talking. Excuse me, sir, you were swerving. Oh, hey, Mike! Simmons! It's my partner, Simmons! Marvin, we are good. We are good. Simmons is gonna let me drive drunk, aren't you, Simmons? Actually, mate, I can't do that. Wh why not? Well, because my body cam's on. You fucking idiot. You're supposed to turn it off. Well, they don't let us do that anymore, mate. I just put a sticker over mine. How many beers have you had tonight? This is my sixth one. Here, you want a sip? No, mate. You know I'm working. I can't drink on the job. Plus, I'm already six donuts deep. I got donuts in my car. You want one? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Marvin, you want a donut? Marvin doesn't, but I do. All right, mate. Give me one second. Put it, put it, put it right in my mouth. Uh. There you are. Oh, shit. I'm too drunk to eat donuts. All right, mate. Well, I'm going to have to do a sobriety test for you, so I'm going to need you to get out of the car. Simmons, I already told you I'm drunk. I don't have to prove it. God, you are the worst cop ever. All right, mate. Well, I'm going to have to turn you in, so come on. Get out of the vehicle. Okay, I will get out, but first you have to give me a hug. All right. <laughs> Stupid pig. <laughs> What? You just tasered a cop! Strip club, Marvin Titties! What? Titties, Marvin Titties! <laughs> oh, look at that, Marvin. Titties! I don't want to be here, let's leave. Come on, Marvin, my wife cheated on me. And you tasered a cop, you're probably wanted. I don't care, Marvin, I have nothing left to live for. Like, watch this. Hey, ho! What? Come here. Yeah? Let me grab that. Oh, wow, those are nice. Hey, you have to pay for that! Oh, okay, here, here you go. There you go. Oh my god, yeah! Enjoy it, it's my life savings. Hey, no punching the ladies! The fuck? Hey, buddy, you better get out of my face before my friend Marvin kicks your ass. Oh, I'd like to see him try. Kick his ass, Marvin. Oh, no, I'm not. I don't want to kick him. No, ass. kick his ass. You could do a punch. Punch him right in the nose. He's got a weak sinus cavity. I can tell. It's like punching a shark. It'll just knock him right out. Yeah, punch me in the nose. See, I... he wants you to do a punch him, Marvin. I, I'm not punching Quit him. Quit being a bitch and punch him. <sighs> okay. Oh my god, he broke my wrist! He broke my wrist! <laughs> Marvin, what, you think you're the equalizer? You're not Denzel Washington? You guys need to go! Oh, you still want us to leave? Uh, yeah! Okay, let me just finish my beer. See what I tell you, Marvin, I knocked his ass out with my beer bottle, and it didn't even break. How do they do it in movies? I think he broke my wrist, I need to go to the hospital. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, hey, girl. What? Come back to my house, I want you to meet my wife. Give me money. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, here you go. Yeah, Ooh. see? This is what you want? Yeah. I got all the power, come okay. on. Okay. Marvin, what happened to your hand? He broke it because he thought he was the equalizer. No, you told me to punch that guy in the face. Wait, where have you guys been? The strip club. Marvin, how could you? 
I was trying to stop him from drinking and driving, and then he tasered a cop. And tell her what else I did. And then we went to the strip club, and then he met this stripper, and he took her on a shopping spree and bought her whatever she wanted, and then he went to the bank and gave her his life savings. Why would you give that whore all your money? Oh, damn. I, 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 I am so sorry. She actually prefers the term ho. It's more respectful. He saved me from a ditch, and now I'm a classy-ass bitch. Why would you give that hoe all your money? Oh, easy. See, my wife cheated on me, so at the end of the day, I'm planning on a, you know, yeah, can't take it with me, right? So I think I'm maybe gonna run into a train, you know, just make it nice and quick. And by the way, don't fucking do that. If you were gonna do that because of this scene, you have bigger problems and you should probably get some help. I shouldn't have to tell you that. And now you can get some help with today's sponsor, me telling you not to fucking do that. And also gamer subs, I guess. Listen, buddy, I know your wife cheated on you, but you don't- Oh, thank you for reminding me. I forgot for a second. Listen, man, you can just take the money away from her. Like, you can take all that stuff back and get no, your no, money no, back. No, don't, don't worry, I, I'm not gonna do that. Marvin. And stop, you're scaring her. Listen, you're just Look, doing a lot of- squeeze me, but I'm gonna go brag to my wife that I have a new hotter wife and no money. Oh man, he's ruining his life. <laughs> I can't believe you told him we cheated! <laughs> I had to tell him the truth! It was killing me! Hey, lovebirds. Boyd! What it is, I just wanted to introduce you to my new girl. What is your name? Angel Dust. This is Veronica. She's definitely not a stripper, and I gave her our entire life savings. Boyd, you're cheating on me? Yeah, I guess you're not the only one who likes to eat pumpkin, huh? Oh, come here, pumpkin. Boiny, what are you talking about? Well, you cheated on me, so I cheated on you. Boiny, I didn't cheat on you. I cheated. Well, tomato, tomato, you're still banging other guys. It doesn't matter what you call it. No, Boiny, think. What were we doing the other night? Well, apparently you were banging my brother while I was watching TV. I wish. No, Boiny, we were playing board games. And? I cheated at board games. Wait, 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 wait. explain. Well, Boiny, remember when we were playing guess who well there was a mirror behind you so i could see who your person was and i was able to guess who it was by looking at the reflection and then we played monopoly and i was the banker so i kept stealing money from the bank when you weren't looking then we were playing uno with jonathan and he gave me a bunch of draw four cards under the table so we could make you keep drawing cards all game long damn it i knew there was no way you had that many draw fours it was so funny boyney because you had like And you just kept buying up all those properties in Monopoly? Boiny, honey, I didn't buy those properties. Oh, God damn it! I just thought you were really good at guessing who. No. Uh, well, I did a lot to screw up my life. It's okay, Boiny. I still love you. No, you don't understand, Karen. I tased a cop. I, I hit this really scary bodyguard guy. I gave our entire life savings to this stripper. See, I thought I was going to get hit by a train later, and now I still want to. It's okay, Boiny. You'll earn your money back. And when you do, can I go shop? Sure, if the train doesn't kill me. Come on, Boiny, let's go play board games! Yeah, that's a good idea, Karen. We can set up the board right in front of the train! Hey, Boiny! Oh, why the long face? I'm watching the Miami Heat try to play basketball. But Boiny, didn't they make the playoffs? No, Karen, they're not in the playoffs. They're just visiting the playoffs. What do you mean, Boiny? Well, it's kind of like when you adopt a sick kitten that you know is going to be dead in a week. I mean, sure, you can play with it, but every time you do, you're just going to be reminded of how it'll be dead soon. That's how it is with the Miami Heat. They're in the playoffs, but they're going to lose. Oh, oh, so they're like... Yes, exactly. They're not supposed to be there. I mean, they're in the playoffs, but it's really just for show. Okay, Boiny. But didn't the Heat beat the Boston Celtics last year? Yes, they did. In seven games with Jimmy Butler, who is not playing. Wait, why isn't he playing, Boiny? Isn't that his job? Yeah, you would think so. But at least he has a good excuse this time. See, he hurt his knee losing a play-in game. And then his team went on to win without him, which gave me hope. But now they're just spreading their cheeks for the Celtics. Well, how long is it going to take for his knee to get better? Oh, with his diet of only ever drinking coffee, I'd say the Heat's gonna lose long before he ever picks up another basketball. Wait, Boiny, aren't you a doctor? Can't you fix his knee? Yeah, you're right, Karen. I could probably go to the hospital and give him a pep talk or maybe some steroids. I'm gonna go see him. Oh, come on, boys. You're playing like you didn't drink your coffee. Speaking of coffee, nurse! Yes, Mr. Butler? I don't think my IV's working. I'm sure it isn't. We really should add water to it and not just coffee. Nope, I just want more big face coffee. Ugh, I'll start brewing a pot. Hey, Mr. Butler. Oh, hey, doctor. How's my leg doing? I don't know. I just got here. Oh, I see you're watching your team lose by 30. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, fuck it, right? Yeah, that's fine. It's only 30. I mean, it's not like it's 40, right, Jimmy? That would just be embarrassing. Well, there's always next season. Oh, okay, so you've just fully given up on this season. That's good to know. You know they can't win without you. Nurse! Yes, doctor? How, how bad is his knee? Well, he suffered a severe MCL sprain, so he could be out for weeks. Well, that's okay. That just gives me more time to make my coffee. Fucking snap out of it, Jimmy. What the fuck is going on in your head? I know that Jimmy that loves basketball is still in there somewhere. Okay, sir, sir, sir. This brings up a bigger issue. I think he might be addicted to coffee. Yeah, you fucking think? Yeah? Yeah, Jimmy, I think so. Well, sir, if we fix the issue now, he could recover for next season. Wow. You really think so? You think... Maybe, if we cure his coffee addiction, we could get knocked out of the playoffs in the second round next time? Boy, wouldn't that be a dream come true. The second round. Come on, Jimmy. Let's get you to Addictions Anonymous. All right, Jimmy. This is Addictions Anonymous. Everybody here is addicted to something. We're going to get you some help. Ooh, is that complimentary coffee? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Addictions Anonymous. Now, here we don't discriminate whether you're addicted to alcohol or drugs or... Sex. Bingo! <laughs> oh, well, why don't you start us off? I would love to! Hello, everybody! My name is Ronald McDonald. You probably heard of me. I thought you had! I have a store on every corner! Hi, Ronald. Hey. So, I got a lot of problems. But my worst problem, it starts with an F. And it ends with an S, and I'm sure you all probably know what it is. Multiple hookers! I'm saying I spend tens of thousands of dollars a week on hookers. L let me give you an example of how bad it is. Let's say you're here, sitting right here in this meeting right now. Right here. And I come up to you, and I say, Hey! You want to make ten thousand dollars in about twenty-five seconds? And you say, yeah. Well, what I would do, I would pull out this stack of $10,000 cash, and then I would pull out a little letter saying it's a gig so you don't have to pay taxes. And I would probably take you to that room right over there and bet you the hell over. But, you, you know, you, you know, you know, you're not interested in that, so I'll just, I'll just slowly put it back in my pocket. Uh, hold on there, Ronald. Um, um, Mr. Cheetah, why don't you go next? Come on, Ronald. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Chester? Ch Chester, she called you. Uh, huh? What? It's your turn. Oh, hey everybody, my name's Chester Cheetah. Hi, Chester Cheetah. And I have a terrible addiction to Cheetos. I like to crunch them up and snort them. My kids won't talk to me. My wife left me. All I have left is Cheetos. See, see Jimmy, you want to end up like that coked up cheetah? That's what's going to happen if you don't give up coffee. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, I didn't know that some people here were addicted to choking. Uh, uh, Ma'am, how about you go next? Oh my god, I'm like addicted to shopping and I would do anything to have more money to buy more stuff. Hey! Um, Mr. Jimmy Butler, sir, how about you go next? Oh, what? My turn? Well, I'm not really addicted to anything, so I don't really know why I'm here. Okay, Jimmy, thank you. I'll take it from here. Hey, everybody. This is NBA basketball player... Oh, I'm sorry. I misspoke. NBA country music singer and coffee barista Jimmy Butler. See, Jimmy here gets paid $200 million to play basketball, but instead of doing that, he would rather make coffee or do literally anything else other than play basketball. You name it, he'll probably do it, as long as it's not basketball. See, Jimmy lost the finals last year, and this year he can't even play because he's got a broken fucking knee or something. Somebody fell on it? I don't know. I'm assuming it's coffee related. But what I really want to say is I don't even care if the Heat lose every game for the rest of my life, as long as Jimmy does the one thing he gets paid to do, which is play fucking basketball. So please, I don't know how you people could possibly help him, but please, please help him. Help me help him, because I have not seen one fucking big face brick and mortar store, and I have never seen it on a grocery store shelf, so I don't know who the fuck you're selling this coffee to, Jimmy. You flew all the way down to Columbia to make a video about how your coffee gets made. He prides himself on it coming out of the ground. Of course it fucking comes out of the ground, Jimmy. It's coffee. Where else would it come from? I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I'm getting mad. I, I just, somebody please help him. That is so sad. <laughs> it is sad. The worst part about my addiction is now I want to at the same time. 
<laughs> yeah, come on! Oh, Jimmy, I don't think they're gonna be back for a while. It's just Chester, and I don't think he can help. We should go back to the hospital. Oh, can I bring my coffee? <laughs> oh, you're back. How'd it go? Can somebody help me open my coffee? Oh. All right, Jimmy, we're gonna do a little psychological test here. This is called an ink blot test. Just take a look at this picture and tell me what you see. Well, that looks like somebody spilled coffee on that piece of paper. Oh, okay, all right, fine. Well, well, let's do another one. All right, how about this one? Well, that looks like another coffee stain. Okay, but do you see something in the coffee stain? Hmm, maybe some creamer. Ugh, okay, okay. All right, well, how about this one? This one's got color. Okay, well, that is, that's a pumpkin spice coffee. <laughs> okay, okay, Jimmy, how about we try some... Jimmy, Jimmy, focus. Huh? Huh? Okay, how about we try something else? Repeat after me, okay? Basketball. Coffee. Okay, hold on. Basketball. Coffee. Jimmy, are you listening? Uh, Basketball. Coffee. Basketball. Coffee. Okay, we're gonna slow away down here, buddy. Bat. Basketball. Ball. Coffee. Oh my oh, god! Damn it, Jimmy! You were standing up earlier. I know you can still play basketball. We're gonna have a montage and see if you can still make basketball shots. Put that down. Come on. Feels nice. Just enjoying a nice hot coffee bath. Oh, Jimmy, this has to stop. You want to know what my number's 22? Because there's two F's and two E's in coffee. <laughs> well, sir, how did the montage go? He can't do it. He can't fucking do it. Everything is just coffee. Well, have you thought about giving him the coffee and once he has it, see how he does? You don't understand. <laughs> All he does is drink coffee. Last year, he drank coffee in the finals and he still lost. He's currently taking a coffee bath. What? A coffee bath. He is bathing in coffee. You know how some athletes take ice? baths, he's taking a coffee bath. Well, is it at least iced coffee? No, it is fresh piping hot coffee. Dear God, we've lost him! Okay, that's it. I'm not just gonna sit back and watch the Miami Heat get a train ran on him. I'm gonna put on a jersey and go out there and play. But sir, sir, sir! You're what? I know, but so is Tyler Hero. Now where is my burned up Jimmy Butler jersey? Okay, okay, all I have to do is make this free throw and we only lose by 25. Okay. <clears throat> Fuck. Well, at least I'm actually trying and not just drinking coffee. Wow, it's really pretty out here. This reminds me of Columbia. You know, that's where I grow my coffee. I know, Jimmy. I know. Just think about the coffee, Jimmy. There's just so many different kinds of coffees. There's lattes and cappuccinos and cold brews and espressos. You know, my coffee contains smile matter. May cause happiness. I know, Jimmy. How do you take your coffee? Cream and two sugars, Jimmy. Cream and two sugars. <laughs> He's in a better place now. <laughs> Aw, Pointy, what's wrong? Jimmy Butler can't hurt us anymore. He's in a better place now. What? He's in a place where he can have all the coffee he wants and nobody can bother him about basketball. Well, that sounds like a nice place, Pointy. Yeah, I just hope he's up there looking down on us right now. Fuck it, he's probably drinking coffee. God, I hate this sport! time on Jeffy Ball Z. Just when Jeffy finally got to use a wish and everything seemed peaceful, a mysterious figure emerged from the darkness. Is he friend or foe? Let's find out. So we're cool, right? Right, man? We're cool? Right? We're cool? You got me and my wife killed. Yeah, but I died too, and hey look, we're all back to life now, so we're cool. But you didn't know you were gonna die. No, but everything worked out, so we're cool. But if you could go back in time and make that same deal, but you know you won't die, would you do it again? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. But that guy's dead, so I could never do that, so we're cool, right? Right? We're cool? I can tell by the look on your face that we're cool. Yeah, we're cool. I'm gonna leave.
Jeffy, you gotta cut this Dragon Ball shit out. But Daddy, if I collect all the Dragon Balls, then I could wish to be the biggest super sandwich the world has ever seen. No, Jeffy, you don't have to look for any more Dragon Balls. Just cut it out because you got us killed last time. But I want my wish. No, Jeffy, you already used a wish. Well, I had to use it to wish you guys back alive. Now, if I get another wish, I can wish for infinite wishes. I mean, you could wish for infinite wishes. Jiro Fingershits have finally completed the perfect android, the perfect tool for world domination, Android 19, which is way cooler and more successful than my last experiment, COVID-19, which I really thought was going to cure the flu, and boy was I wrong. That was a huge disaster. But anyway, Android 19 will show the world just how smart and sexy I am, and all of the women of the world would say, Dr. Fingershits, you are so smart and sexy, and they will want to rob my big, beautiful, uncertain circumcised brain, especially the fat ones. I am a bit of a chubby chaser. I want to be able to grab any part of her and it feel like boobies. Don't judge me. Okay, now, Android 19, rise! Rise and go find me the sexiest, fattest woman to be my queen! Yes, master. Yes! <laughs> Jeffy, I think the smartest decision is to not chase those Dragon Balls anymore. Me. What the hell is that? Hey, what are you doing? Fat barrel chested woman acquired. Excuse me? You are coming with me. Hey you, get away from my mommy. Photon laser. <laughs> See Jeffy, that's why you have to cut this Dragon Ball shit out. There's a random robot in the house. Sciatic pain. What? Oh, my sciatic nerve. Ah. Uh, no one gets on my daddy's nerves except for me. Uh, <laughs> Why didn't it work? I am impervious to energy blasts. Photon laser. <laughs> now come with me, Tubby. No! Jeffy, go save her! Go save her right now! Uh, I can't. What? I'm too weak. No! Maybe don't. you're right, Daddy. Maybe I should give up the Dragon Balls. No, don't give it up! Go get Rose and then give up! No, Daddy. He's too powerful. No, Jeffy, come on! You can fight him! Uh, I quit. You have yellow hair! Uh. Jeffy! My sciatic nerve, Jeffy! It hurts! It hurts so bad! Go get Rose! Jimmy! Oh, I'm so excited for my fat, beautiful queen! Master, I have brought you a fat, barrel-chested female as you requested. What is this? She is not fat! Thank you! Well, she is a little bit fat, but I want it big, obese, gigantic, like my 600-pound life! Well, she is a little barrel-chested, so I'll give you that. Hey! I'm sorry, Master, I have failed you. Yes, you have! And since you can't do your job right, I will take care of her myself! Come with me, not very fat lady! I'm a failure. I couldn't even save my own mom. I'm too weak. <sighs> What's going on, Jeff? You got your depressed hair on. My mom got kidnapped, and I'm too weak to save her. I'm giving up forever, Junior. Don't give up. You can get stronger. You can go save her. No, I can't. I'm a failure, and I'm never going to be strong enough again. Well, this is a guy I know. He can train you to be stronger. How? How, Junior? Well, all you have to do is bring him a cheesecake, and he'll teach you how to get stronger. If I bring him a cheesecake, I'll be strong enough to save my mom? Yeah, I think so. Then let's bring him a cheesecake. I have to save my mom, Junior. Come on, let's go. All right, Jeffy. There's the cheesecake. Grab it. Okay. What are you losers doing? in my kitchen. Oh no, it's Chef Pee Pee. Uh, put that cheesecake back before I turn you into Miss Me. Oh no, Jeffy, we're gonna have to fight him. I can't. I'm too weak. Okay, then I guess I'm gonna have to fight you. Oh, you're no match for my death fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God I beat him to it. I thought he had me. All right, let's go grab my phone off the couch and put my wig back on, and then we can go, go give the cheesecake to the guy. Okay. Oh, look, there's my phone. I'll get it. What? Jeffy, how can you eat cheesecake at a time like this? Rose is kidnapped. You need to save her. Well, that's exactly why I need the cheesecake, so I can get stronger. No, cheesecake's not going to make you stronger. It's going to make you have diarrhea. Hopefully. What? Look, there's the news. Breaking news, okay? A mad scientist has kidnapped a woman, and he has something he wants to tell the world. Let's go to that now. Quiet! Hello, world! I am Dr. Jiro Finkelschitz, and my mustache is falling off, goddammit. What, please? I bet you're wondering why I'm on your television screen. Well, I will tell you. I want the Dragon Balls, and I will execute this not very fat lady every. Hold, hold, please. I will execute this not very fat lady.
lady in 24 hours if I do not get the Dragon Balls and I will execute another not fat lady, whatever, if I don't get the Dragon Balls in another 24 hours. And if you're thinking about stopping me, don't because I have this very scary robot who will kill you. Thank you very much. Oh no, that crazy scientist is going to kill Rose. You have to get the Dragon Balls and give them to him. Or I could get the Dragon Balls and wish for mommy to be safe like she just poofs out of there like poof. poof or we can get the Dragon Balls and then go beat up that scientist and get Rose back and then we can use the Dragon Balls to wish for something cool like a spaceship. Or you guys can say screw it to the Dragon Balls and go beat up the scientist right now and get Rose back before he kills her. Well, I gotta go get strong first. I got your phone, Junior. You? you better hurry, Jeffy. You better hurry. Look, Jeffy, there it is. There's the chamber. What are you doing in my swamp? Well, Mr. Shrekami, um, Jeffy's mom, she got kidnapped, and we need to go save her because she'll be killed in 24 hours, so we were wondering if we could use your chamber to train. Do you even know what this chamber is? It's a hyperbolic time donkey chamber. Every hour spent in this chamber is equivalent to one day here on Earth. I know, and that's why we want to use it to train. Well, the only way I'm going to let you use my chamber Chamber is if you bring me the Sarah Lee creamy cream cheese cake! Jeffy, hand it to him. Oh, there she is. The Sarah Lee classic creamy cheese creamy cake smooth and creamy no artificial flavors cheese cake! I will now make love. You guys go ahead and go in the chamber and do whatever you have to do. All right, Jeffy, you go in first and then after 12 hours you come out and let me go in. Yeah, strong as fuck. Whoa, Jeffy, you look so strong. My turn, my turn. Hold on there, donkey. Only one entry per cheesecake. So if you want to go into the chamber, you have to bring me a creamy, cream, cream cheesecake. But we only had one cheesecake. Well, then get the hell out of my swamp. Oh, I want to be strong, but at least you're strong now, Jeffy. Let's go. Fuck yeah, Daddy. I'm ready to kick the shit out of somebody. Whoa, Jeffy, what happened to your hair? I put gel in it, and I also went super re-re, too. <laughs> so you're strong enough to go save Rose? Yeah. Come on, Junior. Let's go kick some supernatural ass. There! I had to take your mouth because you were being so annoying with all of the please don't kill me and I don't want to die. Shut up! Well, now it has been 23 hours and 59 minutes, so in one minute, I can finally kill you! Hey, stop right there. Stay away from my mommy. You are too late, man who uses too much hairspray! It's actually hair gel. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to kill your mommy! No, you're not. Come on, Jeffy, let's kick his ass. It's pointless to even try! Android 19 kills him! Yes, master. Come on, Jeffy. I got this. It's just a stupid little robot. Sciatic pain. Wait, ah, my back. Oh, my God, it hurts. I think. You done did it now. I'm going to power up my RPMs, my retards per minute. <laughs> I already told you that your attacks are pointless. <laughs> what? Yeah, I lost the chromie, but I found it. <laughs> Me. Android 19, what the hell was that? He is too powerful, master. Well, do something, kill him! Critical malfunction, global self-destruct, happening in 10 seconds. Yes, you hear that? Global self-destruct, now you're in trouble. Wait, did you say global? He's going to blow up the entire world, do something, kill him! You fucking did it, fuckhead. Take him, take him somewhere. I don't want any part of this. Instant transition. Oh my god, I'm a girl. Give me awards, woman of the year. Oh wait, wrong one. Instant transmission. I brought us in space, so when you explode, you won't hurt anybody. Oh wait, what about me? Okay, here's your wife. Wait, Rose, you're back? But where's Jeffy? Oh, well, I got my ass kicked by the robot because he kicked me in the sciatic nerve. Wait, mine too, he hit me in the back. Is Jeffy okay? What? Look, the news. Breaking news, okay? A robot was going to self-destruct and destroy the entire world. But some guy named Jeffrey took the robot into space and sacrificed himself to save the world. But he is dead. Wait, Jeffy's dead? No! After a grueling battle where Jeffy rescued his mommy, he made the noble sacrifice to save the Earth, blowing himself up in the process. Will Marvin and Junior's sciatic nerves ever recover? Is Jeffy really dead? Find out next time on Jeffy Ball Z. Karen, Karen, Karen! The 
there's a job listing to be a waiter at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. Another job, Boiny? Why don't you just stay home and relax with me? Well, Karen, the pay on this job's gonna be crazy. How much? Four dollars an hour. Boiny, that's nothing! Yeah, but the meals are crazy expensive, so the tips are gonna be like a thousand dollars each. If I do one table an hour, I get like a thousand dollars an hour. Wow, that's a lot of money, Boiny, but are you sure that's gonna actually happen? Oh, trust me, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna come home with at least eight thousand dollars today. Wow, well, okay, Boiny. Okay, I'm gonna go apply for the job. Good luck! Chef Peepee, when I tried these mandarin oranges that you prepared for me, my tongue went on a vacation. But the flight got cancelled, and they lost my luggage. And on the way home, I got into a car accident and became a paraplegic. And the nurse taking care of me shit in my oatmeal. Now piss off and never cook again! Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ramsey? What do you want? You're in my kitchen, you bum! I I'm, not, I'm not a bum, sir. I I'm here about a job. I heard you were hiring waiters. Oh, right. Here. There's your dress. Now, a table just walked in, so piss off! Oh, okay, yes, got it. Pissing off, sir. Hey there, welcome to Hell's Kitchen. My name is Brooklyn, and I'll be your waiter. Ooh, father, father, he just said us so where? Timmy, shut the fuck up. You want me to take you outside and put you across my knee? But he just said hell! You want to go to the car? No, sir. Timmy, look at me. Look at me. Zip it. Yes, sir. All right. Sorry about him, he's a little weasel. No, that's okay. I was just gonna ask if you guys wanted something to drink. I'll have your largest bottle of wine. Oh, well in that case, I'd recommend the Cabernet Sauvignon. Great! I'll have two. Okay, two of those. And I'll have the sun kissed on the rocks. <laughs> okay, I can do that. And I'll have a glass of milk. Uh, we don't have any milk, but we do have coffee creamer. He'll take a glass of that. Okay, sure. I want a Capri Sun! Uh, we don't have that either. Aw, man! Just get her a sun kissed on the rocks, too. Okay, two sun kisses. Uh, can I get you guys started with an appetizer? Yeah, we'll take a bloomin' onion and also a baked potato with all the fixins'. Okay. And I want cheese fries. Okay. Cheese sticks. Uh, we don't have cheese sticks. You don't have anything that I like. Just get her an order of the macaroni and cheese poppers. Okay. I'll have a side Caesar salad with light dressing. And extra croutons, because you know my fingers are going to find their way over to your plate and take a couple. And extra croutons. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Too. Aren't you gonna write this down? Oh no, I don't need to. Get it all up here. Amazing! You can remember all that? Yep. Say it back. Oh, well, you guys wanted uh, two sun kissed on the rocks, two bottles of Cabernet, a glass of coffee creamer, a uh, bloomin' onion, a loaded baked potato, cheese fries, mac and cheese poppers, a Caesar salad with extra croutons. Simply amazing! Absolutely brilliant. We got ourselves a little Einstein over here. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna go put all that in and I'll be back to take your order. Uh, actually, we're ready to order now. But you are? You, you sure you don't want me to just run that in real quick? Unless you don't think you can remember it. Oh no, I, I can remember it. It hit me. Ow! You did say hit you. I, I did. I just meant tell me what you want. Alright! I'll take the reins and go first. I'll have the 18 ounce bone-in ribeye. Cooked well done. Butterflied with a little bit of blue cheese crumbles on top with some salt and pepper. Oh my god, I'm never gonna remember a goddamn thing this man is saying. This is the longest order I've ever heard. Why didn't I just write it down? Why did I have to say I had a good memory? Oh my god, he's still talking. Can't you just order like a normal person? Okay, I have to at least pretend I'm listening. Chives, got it? Yeah, yeah, I got all that. Ooh, ooh, I want an eight ounce sirloin cooked medium rare with ketchup. Ah, uh, 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 Timmy, you know your mother always orders after the man of the house, the one that does all the yard work? Yes, sir. All right, honey, take it away. Uh, what's on your maple barbecue chicken? Well, ma'am, I would assume maple and barbecue. Oh, no, I do not want that. I'll have the grilled salmon with four coconut shrimp. I want the lemon on the side and clean the rind. Okay, I can do that, too. Uh, would you like to order now? Father, may I please order now? You may. Okay, so I want the 8 ounce sirloin cooked medium rare with ketchup, mayonnaise, and mustard on the side. I also want individual sides of lettuce, tomato, pickles, onion, ooh, and two pieces of bread. Wait, instead of bread, can I get buns? Would you just like a burger? No, I want it how I ordered it. Okay. I don't see PB and J on here. All right, I'll take the reins on that one too in order for. She'll have the shrimp and chicken fettuccine, whatever the fuck, and make sure you cut up the noodles to about a centimeter size or so, so she doesn't choke on it. Okay, yeah, I got that too. You got all that? Oh yeah, I got all of it. Yep. Yeah, I'd ask you to read it back to me, but I'm sure you got it with that big old brain of yours. Oh yeah, I got it. Oh boy, do I have it. I'm gonna go put all of that in. Now that's a man that can listen. Honey, don't fucking start.
Oh man, I don't remember a goddamn thing those people just ordered. I mean, I remember the drinks and the appetizers, but I don't know what their actual meal is. Damn it, guy, why did you have to brag about being good at remembering stuff? Why the what do they want? Uh, they're coming. Yes, Mr. Ramsey? You gotta give me that order, or you gotta stand around with your dick in your hand. Oh, no, 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 sir, no dicks in hand. Well, then give me their order! Okay, so they wanted a, 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 a loaded baked potato. Uh, 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 you didn't fucking write it down! No, I don't need to write it down, I can remember it. Well, clearly you can't, because you're over there, uh, 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 black. I'm an old looking idiot! Give me the order! Okay, uh, they wanted a loaded baked potato, and a uh, bloomin' onion, and cheese fries, and mac and cheese bites, and a Caesar salad with extra croutons. Now, was that so fucking hard? A little bit. Alright, well then piss off and go get them their drinks, and then get me the order! Okay, yes, I will go get them their order. Alright, now piss off! Okay, you lovely people, I have your drinks, your two sun kists on the rocks, your coffee creamer, sir. Ma'am, there are your two bottles of Cabernet. Oh, thank you. Now, sir, you ordered the, uh, uh, well, you know, you know what you ordered. We both know. You don't have to say it unless you want to. That would be fine. Uh, but the chef uh, doesn't believe that you ordered the thing that you wanted the way you wanted it. So maybe if you said it out loud, you might realize you don't actually want that. No, that's exactly what I want. Hmm. Well, maybe if you said it out loud, you would hear like an ingredient in there that's kind of weird and you might change your mind. You didn't forget, did you? Oh, no, no. Me forget? No, I never forget anything. No, no, not me. Now, honey, you know he has an amazing memory. Oh, uh, yeah. We got Megamind as our waiter. Yeah, yeah that's me. Megamind. But see, the chef, uh, he, he didn't believe me when I told him what you wanted. You know, he, he didn't think somebody would order that the way you ordered it. So so maybe maybe if you uh, you just said that on video, exactly what you told me, and I could show the chef and he'd believe you. No way, Kim Osabi. I don't like being recorded. I don't want Mark Zucker Facebook spying on me. Yeah, of course not. Uh, so, so maybe uh, just your voice. You know, you could just talk and tell the chef what you wanted. Just say, hey, chef, this is what I want, and then tell him exactly what you told me. All right. Hey, chef, this is what I want. I want the 18-ounce bone-in ribeye well-done butterfly so we make sure it's well done with blue cheese crumbles and salt and pepper. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, I got one of their orders, but he's a big fan, so he wanted to record it in a video for some reason. No phones in my kitchen! Well, if you just listen to it, you can hear what he wants. No, you go get their full order and you come back here and read it to me. Make sure you write it down. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I will do that, sir. Where the fuck are you going? I was going to go get their orders. There's the appetizers ready. You take them out there to them. Uh, well, well, sir, it's going to take me like four trips. No, you're a waiter. It's your job to carry all the food out there. And if you can't do it with the two hands that you have, I suggest you grow two more hands. Uh, okay, I guess I'll try to... Get the fucking food out of my I'm kitchen going, now! I'm going, I'm going. Whoa, whoa, careful, careful. Okay, screw it. They're not getting appetizers. Okay, sir, the chef believes you now, and he started cooking your food. Perfect. And you, ma'am, what you ordered was just incredible. Really inspiring. No one has ever ordered something like that before. Really? Yes, really, and the chef liked it so much he wants to make it a permanent menu item, so just take this pen and then write on the menu exactly what you ordered the way you told me. But it's already on the menu! Not the way you ordered it, it's not, so just write that down because it's special. So, what was your name again, ma'am? Suzanne. Suzanne. We're gonna call it the Suzanne Special, just for you. Honey, you hear that? I'm gonna be famous! That's what we call special treatment. Now you, kid, you ordered a hamburger. No, I didn't. Nah, you kinda did. But I didn't order that. Well, the, the chef said he refused to make what you ordered because I totally remember what that was. And he said he's going to make you a hamburger, so you're getting a hamburger. But I wanted a... You're getting a hamburger. Okay. Now you, girl, you wanted a... PB and j Yes, and you know what, princess? I will make that special just for you. With crunchy peanut butter? You got it. Well, hold on. What about what she actually ordered? Because she can't have all that sugar. Well, you know what? I will make her a special sugar-free peanut butter and jelly. Oh, wow. That's what you call going above and beyond, just like Buzz Lightyear. Yep, that's right. Oh, Ma'am, you done with that menu? Yes, here you go. Thank you. We're going to frame this. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. What about the appetizers? Uh, I have bad news about the appetizers. See, uh, this is coming from the chef, because I would never do this to you people. Uh, see, he said that the appetizers were for the lunch menu, and, and this, this is the dinner menu, so you're not getting appetizers. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, I get everybody's order written down. Took you long enough! Yeah, I do need to go to Walmart real quick to get the stuff to make a PB&J. PB&J? This is a Michelin star fucking restaurant! We don't serve PB&J here! Yeah, but you see, that, that girl she has an allergy that an allergic to everything but PB and J allergies, so I need to do that for her. Well, there's fucking gluten, sugar, and peanuts in a PB and J. What the fuck is she not allergic to? Hey, I'm just telling you what she said, so I'll be right back. Well, hurry up!
Okay, sir, I got the PB&J in my back pocket. I'm keeping it warm. All right, the food's ready. And let whoever ordered the salmon know that I didn't have any lemons, so I'd use a spare squash that I found. Okay, sure, I mean, you're the chef. I'll just take all this out. Mm-mm-mm, I got everybody's food. Sir, I got your steak and baked potatoes. I got your hamburger. Aww. I got your PB&J. You didn't cut the crust off? Yeah, well, you didn't tell me to. Aww. Yeah, so eat it. And I got your fish. The lemons have a lot of seeds in them. Yeah, well, that's because the chef actually ran out of lemons, and he had to substitute lemons for squash. Well, did he clean the rind first? Uh, yes, he did. Oh, uh, good. Sir, what are you doing? You call this well done? It's still mooing at me. It's saying, cook me moo. Yeah, I, I'm really sorry about that, sir, and I would take it back, but you see, Gordon Ramsay refuses to cook anything well done. And where are my blue cheese crumbles? He refused to do that, too. He said they were moldy, and he threw them away. Ah, good call. Okay, so everybody enjoy your food, and let me know if you need anything. Okay, Mr. Ramsay, I gave him their food. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go check on him. Hey, everybody, how's the food? I see you ate it all. It was disgusting. Disgusting? Yeah, it was too chewy. I'd like you to take it off the bill, please. Oh, sir, I can't do that. You ate it all, even the bone. Yeah, but it was gross. I had to eat it all the way through to make sure it was still disgusting, and it was. And my lemons didn't add much flavor. Well, that's because it was squash. I like my burger. Oh, well, that's good. Can we order dessert? You sure can. All right, honey, I'll take it from here. We'd like to do the creme brulee with extra berries, the cheesecake with a mixed berry compote, a chocolate mousse and a bread pudding with a scuba ice cream, a chocolate cookie, and it's also my birthday, so I'll take whatever free dessert comes with that. Actually, you know what? I just remembered that the kitchen's closed, so I can't give you any of that. Oh, darn. That's a darn shame. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, so here's the bill. Uh, who do I give this to? You can give it to the kids. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very good, sir. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this here, and I'll be back. All right, I'll take care of this old dog. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, they ate all of it. <coughs> what, what do the burps mean, Mr. Ramsey? Uh, okay, I, I'm going to go get their bill. Oh, thank God they're finally gone. Oh, but that big tip's gonna be worth it, though. What, what the hell is this? Don't step in front of a moving train? What does that mean? Oh, there it is. Sorry about that. My wife left her necklace on the table. Hey, hey, just real quick. Uh, for the tip, you said don't step in front of a moving train. What's that about? Yeah, pretty good tip, huh? Well, I mean, tips are usually supposed to be money. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't leave cash. We just leave tips as in, like, uh, life advice, you know? Well, I can't really pay my bills with that. Well, you make an hourly wage like everyone else, right? I make $4 an hour. Well, if you don't like how much you get paid, then maybe you should work somewhere else. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck this! <sighs> Boyne, you're home early from work! Yeah, fuck that job. But Boyne, what happened to $8,000? Oh, I'll tell you what happened to it. Here's my one hour of pay I got, that's $4. And here is my tip. Don't step in front of a moving train. <gasps> oh, Boyne, that's a good tip! Yeah, try mailing that to the electric company and see if it keeps the lights on. But Boyne, that was just one table and you quit? Yeah, that was the worst experience of my life. What happened? Well, Gordon Ramsay yelled at me and then he burped at me and I think it was supposed to communicate something. Well, Boyne, at least you have a lot of other jobs. Yeah, you're right. I don't need it. Cut up, cut up! three keys buy me another one Jeffy I don't have the money to buy you a new one right now but daddy I need that paper that cash cash green cash cash well why don't you get a job and then you can make that green cash cash green cash cash too hard no it's not too hard Jeffy well it's too hard for me to let you borrow money Marvin look the news breaking news there's a phone app that will let you adopt animals straight from your phone and have them delivered to your house. What a time to be alive. Wow, Marvin, what a neat idea. See, Jeffy, if you thought of a cool business idea like that, you'd make tons of money. Okay, well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start my own business. Yeah, right. Oh, my God, did you just see the new food delivery app that they announced on the news? They deliver cat and dog right to your door. America is amazing. Okay, guys, you ready to play doo-doo kangaroo? How do you play doo-doo kangaroo? Well, you feed donuts to this kangaroo until he doo-doos, and you press this button on the back of the toilet, and that's going to make him doo-doo all over the place, so you have to collect as many donuts as you can, but none of the doo-doos. See, that's a donut, and on the other side, that's a doo-doo. Don't pick up any doo-doos. So it's just a shitting kangaroo, dude? <laughs> yeah, Joseph, he's a kangaroo. <laughs> that's a crappy joke, dude. Sorry. Okay, so how do we start? Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to press this button and make him doo-doo. Oh, he's going to doo-doo. Get ready for doo-doo. Oh, he's going crazy. Come on, shit, you stupid kangaroo. Yeah, where's the poop? Uh, well, there's one. I can't collect that. That's a doo-doo. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's that. I think he's constipated. Yeah, I can tell. He's not doo-dooing, Cody. Oh, that's, 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 that's a doo-doo. You can't take it. Okay. Get it. Wait, that's a doo-doo. Where's the delicious donut? I, oh, oh, no, 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 I'm just gonna flip this one over. No, no, no flipping the doo-doos. The rules say no flipping doo-doos. But it's just a sticker, dude. No flipping doo-doos. It's just nothing but doo-doos. That's why the matter 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 matter. I got two of them. Hey, guys, what are you doing? <laughs> We're just playing this shitty board game. Get it, Junior? Shitty, like doo-doo, <laughs> like poop out of your butt. Yeah, I get it. Well, what if I create a game called Shit Shit My Ass 4? I mean, we would have to make three of them first, but I think it would be better than this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, dude. Well, I need you guys' help starting a business because I need to make a lot of money so I can buy a new cat piano. Well, you can sell hard drugs, bro. <laughs> what could go wrong? Too hard to find. Oh, I got a perfect business idea. Why don't you start an escape room? What? Yeah, you know those people who pay to get trapped in a room for an hour and they have to escape? Oh, so I gotta kidnap somebody, lock them in a room, and then wait until they pay me to leave? Well, no, no, no. See, the crazy thing about this is people pay to stay in the room, and they have to escape. They pay you to do it. Huh, now that you mention it, that's actually kind of fucked up. Yeah, but there are a lot of escape rooms, and they make a lot of money, so we should start an escape room. Yeah, I agree. I think we should do that. Okay, okay. but what room would we use? We would use this room, Cody. But this room doesn't look like an escape room. That's the crazy part about this. We lock people in this room, we tell them it's escape room, they never get out, and they're gonna keep coming back from work, because they're like, wait, they really want to break this puzzle. Well, usually they have puzzles in the escape room. No, no, see, that's the cool part. There's actually no puzzles. It's just a regular playroom, but people are gonna go crazy in here trying to escape. They're gonna keep coming back for more, and we can charge $100 per person. That's so much money. Yeah, people are gonna love it. So let's make a commercial for the escape room, and the line's gonna be out the door. Let's go! Karen! Karen, can you get the bag of Tootsie Pops from out of the pantry? I like them. No, Boiny, you haven't had dinner yet. No candy before dinner. But I want Tootsie Pops. No, Boiny, you'll spoil your appetite. Come on, let's go somewhere fancy for dinner. How about Olive Garden? Hmm, that is pretty fancy. But I'm not hungry yet. Boiny, you just said you wanted Tootsie Pops. I don't eat Tootsie Pops because I'm hungry. I eat them because they taste good and I like them. Well, come on, Boiny, let's go out to dinner. Okay, but let me check the sports highlights first. Ugh. I don't want to do Co it. Cody, say the thing. It's offensive. Do it. <sighs> Hi, it's me. No, say how they start their sentences. What? The thing. Oh, uh, Arriba. It's me, El Chapo. I'm currently in maximum security prison, but it's still not as hard to escape as Jeffy's escape room. You would have to get help from the cartels to escape. They would have to dig a tunnel to get you out. That's just how hard it is to escape from Jeffy's escape room. So come on down to Jeffy's escape room and try to escape. It's it, This is brought to you by El Chapo. I am not El Chapo. Yes, you are. Now they're not going to believe us. I don't want El Chapo to be mad at me, Junior. They cut people's heads off with chainsaws. Chainsaws, Junior. Oh, my God, Karen. Karen, Karen, did you see that? That escape room says it's so hard even El Chapo couldn't get out of there. Let's go do it. No, come on, Boiny. I'm hungry. Let's go out to dinner. Oh, come on, Karen. One quick escape room, and then we can just go to dinner. Boiny, those escape rooms take like an hour. Not with me. I'm an escape master. I escaped from my last marriage, and if I can escape from that, I can escape anything. Come on, it'd take like 10 minutes. Uh, Oh, fine, Boiny. Only if it takes ten minutes. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, Karen, I'm so excited for this escape room. I'm gonna escape the shit out of this room. Oh, Boiny, I'm so hungry. Don't worry. Your hunger's gonna be quenched with escape. Ooga, booga, booga, booga! Ah, see, Karen, it's already scary. What do you guys want? Uh, we're here for the escape room. What? The, the escape room. Oh, that. That would be a hundred bucks each. Damn. Boiny, that's way too much money. Oh, don't worry, Karen. That just means it's going to be a really good escape room. But, Boiny, what about our dinner? You're going to eat this escape room right up, Karen. All right. Come in, I guess. Okay. Get in there. Wait, this is the escape room? Yep. Well, what's the theme? My bedroom. Well, what are the rules? Well, if you see a crusty sock in there, don't touch it. Okay. Well, it's not very scary. It's terrifying. Come on, Karen, we got this. You got one hour to try to get out. Oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. Ooh, it looks like a little kid's bedroom. It is a little kid's bedroom, Boiny. Any questions? Can we escape out the window? No. <laughs> Let the escaping begin. Oh, look, Karen, this must be the first clue. Doo-doo kangaroo. Hmm, that rhymes. And look at these. These must be the doo-doos. But look, there's also donuts. Quick, Karen, count the donuts. One, two, three, four, five. There's five donuts, and I have five fingers. <gasps> that must mean that I can use my fingers to open the door. I got it. <laughs> I told you, Karen, we'd get out of here in less than ten minutes. <laughs> Damn it. 
Ah, shit. It's not working. I don't know why I thought it would be that easy. El Chapo would have figured that out. All right, Karen, there must be more clues around here somewhere. We have five donuts. And look, there's four donuts on this thing. And look, Karen, a magic eight ball. Five, four, eight. That must be some kind of code. Hmm. Oh, the microwave. Maybe I can put in five, four, eight. Five, four, eight. That's a sticker. Boyny, open the microwave. Oh, good idea, Karen. Let me see what's in there. <gasps> it's a watch. Oh, what time is on the watch? It's 548. Okay, 548. That must be the code. Let me try it again. 548. It's still a sticker. Damn it. But 548, that's a time. That must mean that it's time for us to leave. Let me try the door again. <laughs> oh, damn it. Come on. Oh. Five, four, eight. Is that right? Is that the code? I, I don't really see a place to put in a code around here. So is it five, four, eight? Ugh, damn it. I guess they don't give clues. Ugh, come on, Karen. There has to be more clues around here somewhere. And you have to help if you want to go to dinner. Okay, fine, Boiny. Okay, what do we have? We have five, four, eight. Hmm. Or eight, five, four. Or eight, four, five. Oh, Boiny, try opening the oven door. Oh my God, Karen, you're right. What's in there? Oh my God, Karen, there's a pizza in there. And it has four slices. So that's five, four, eight, four. Oh, Boiny, look, the oven's set to 350. Oh my God, Karen, you're right, it is. So that's five, four, eight, four, three, five, zero. That's seven digits. That could be a phone number. We should call it. But Boiny, I don't think we can use our phones in here. No, Karen, the only rule is that we're not allowed to touch the sock. We can use phones. So I'm going to call it. 5484350. Karen, it's ringing. But Boiny, how do you know you got the numbers on the right order? Because that's the order we found them in, duh. Hello, who is this? Why you call this number what you want? Yes, are you part of the escape room? Did I win? What the fuck you talking about? Is the code 5484350? That's my phone number. Yes, did I win? Don't call this number no more! Hmm, don't call this number no more. See, that's a double negative. That means he does want us to call him again. I'm gonna call him again. What the fuck you want? Yes, if I could just get the code, I can win. Fuck off! Hmm, fuck off. That has seven letters. And seven, eight, nine. Six was afraid of seven because seven, eight, nine. And there's a pizza in the oven and you can eat pizza. No, boy, you can't eat that pizza. It's a toy. Yes, that's right. This pizza is fake. And there's four letters in fake. That means the four is fake. We shouldn't use the four. Hmm. Actually, y you know what? I think I'm actually going to go beg for a clue to make sure we're not totally off track here. Wait, but Boiny, look over there. It says step two. Oh my god, Karen, you're right. This is step two. So what was step one? I'm going to go ask what step one was. Hey, I desperately have a question. What do you want? You give up yet? <laughs> not a chance. But I found step two, and I was just wondering what step one was. Getting in the room. Oh, of course, of course, of course, of course. That is the first thing we did. All right, Karen. So we were kind of on the right track, but we got the numbers out of order. So the new code is 35084. Wait a minute. There's one bowling pin. So that means the new code is 350184. And what's this under the four donuts? It's Twister. Oh, Karen, this just got a lot more complicated. Boiny, I'm so hungry. Come on, help me with Twister. Yeah. Okay, Karen, do you notice anything weird about Twister? Well, there's four colors, Boiny. That's right. There's green, yellow, blue, and red. And look at that, Karen. Look, there's four colors on those donuts. Red, green, blue, and purple. But there's no yellow. But there is purple. That must mean the code is purple. Or yellow. Oh, Boiny, look over there. That scooter's purple. You're right. And that bowling pin is yellow. So that must mean we have to ride that purple scooter into the door while holding the yellow bowling pin. That must be the code. Come on, Karen. Jeffy, what are you doing? Nothing. Why are you grabbing your door handle? I'm not. Why don't you go in your room? Don't want to. Are you locked out of your room? No. Then why don't you go in it? Because I don't want to. <sighs> Jeffy, listen, I was coming here to talk to you because I know you want a new cat piano and we just don't have a lot of money right now. And I was just, oh, you know, just letting you know that maybe I could buy you a new cat piano if you just be good for like a week. Too hard. What, what do you mean too hard? Jeffy, why are you grabbing your door handle? I'm not. What's in your room? Nothing. I want to check. No, no, you're not. Why? Because I don't want to. What's in the room? Nothing. Jeffy, open the door right now. Get out of the way. No, Daddy, no! All right, Karen, let's escape this bitch like El Chapo. Yeah. What's going on in here? Fuck yeah, we did it, we won! <laughs> Fuck yeah! What is going on? Marvin, your son makes the best escape rooms. I'm not gonna lie, it was kinda hard, but he didn't know I'm the master of escape. I'm like Houdini, I can get out of anything. What are you talking about? Here, you can keep your stupid fucking bowling pin, but I'm keeping the scooter, because I get out in like three minutes. Come on, Karen, let's go to Olive Garden. Yay, Olive Garden! I really have no idea what you guys are even talking about. Fuck yeah!